Hey guys, welcome, how's everyone doing? Deep dive and a stream night. I've got to say, this is the way I'm thinking uh, it's going to go from now on on YouTube. If I release a video on a Saturday, we'll always go live here afterwards and react to those TikToks. Because one thing that's come out of this house move and putting content on the back burner for the most part is really enjoying these live streams interacting with you guys like some of the core fans of my work um it's fun to have a drink in it at the end of the week have a drink with everyone got my emo wine glass as usual and ready to see what you guys are tagging in and this week you've gone absolutely nuts usually i have an average of about 50 50 odd videos to watch this week it was about 70 that you guys had tagged me and that i'd favorited to watch um, and last week we were on just over five hours, so God knows, what, <laughs> God knows how long we're on tonight. Who knows? Um, I've been loving them, Rachel. I've been loving them, Steve. I haven't moved, man. I haven't moved. I'm still in my place. I think I've confused everyone because I've talked about me. I'm moving on Wednesday because of the bank holiday. So I used obviously my time this week when I wasn't streaming on Twitch. Um, to obviously do more packing and stuff. If I was to move my green screen, you would see like all my display stuff's gone and everything like that. The room's just bare. Um, I pick up the keys for the new place on Tuesday and then me and the kids are going to go to the new place and have a look. The kids haven't seen it in the flesh yet, you know, so end up choose their bedrooms and all that sort of stuff. And then, uh, fact freaks, my new Saturday night. Nice. Um, and... 
then on Wednesday we're moving and I've paid for a removals company so like my living room is just full of boxes we've got everything sorted we've had to take all the hutches down all the stuff outside it's been quite a lot of work um, happy Easter tomorrow for people yeah 100% my kids the other day were like dad have you got those Easter eggs I was like yep can we have them now all right, okay. I mean, the, the 14 and 17, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's when the move's happening on Wednesday. But um, I don't give up the tenancy here until the 16th. So I'm still going to be between sorting shit out. But the main move's happening on Wednesday. Um, what a deep dive as well tonight. That's absolutely insane, right? That MZ is horrendous. I've just seen part of his video where he's, he's declared he's leaving TikTok. Um, and apparently he's going to sue me and the police are coming and all that sort of stuff. Which is, that's a threat that I get every time I do a live, um, a deep dive or an exposure video, let's face it. Now it just gets a bit boring. Uh, <laughs> Saturdays used to be a really bad mental health day for me. These reactions help massively. Holy Jen, I'm glad they do. I really am. Love it, facts. New routine. I'm definitely in for it. That's the thing. Like, I want to obviously put out more content when I get moved and I get settled. I've been working on a big project that's going to drop. And I've been teasing it. You guys will have noticed my new content has, like, meme clips in it and different things like that. The editing's a bit different. Close-up views and different things like that. And putting articles up and I've been working on my editing skills with a project that is completely different to what I would normally do in a way it's like a deep dive into something ridiculous rather than a person um, and I've been able to implement those things into what I normally do so it's it's been a canny little learning curve alongside um, so yeah I've got a I want another episode of the podcast filmed as well and get that out shortly and some other bits and bobs. So lots, lots coming up. But regardless, whatever we drop on a Saturday, I'll always come live afterwards when I can and react to TikToks that you guys are tagging me in. I, I, I love it. I think it's great. Honestly, you guys are, are great as well over here. Um, TikTok reactions make me realise my life is pretty normal. Yeah, exactly. I put your long lives on most nights to sleep, lol. You're such a nice, calm and voice. Really? People are saying that. Like, I get a lot of people who re-watch the live streams. I used to, like, I used to, I used to private them. I used to be like, oh, God, get rid of them. But then a lot of people watch them. I mean, a couple of thousand views and something. That, that's after the live stream as well, so that's decent. Um... <laughs> Yes, official Chris. Is that Chris, like Chris, who used to have a huge account? Lovely dude. If that is Chris, nice to see you, my dude. Um, hey, Shell. Frenchie. Now, I've had dealings with Frenchie, but in a positive light, in a way, if that makes sense. Like, the Yorkshire Joker made a load of accusations about him. And he shared me a Dropbox and showed me loads of evidence to prove that she was full of crap. And... But he wouldn't represent me. <laughs> I was like, you want somebody to... Well, I was like, no, he asked me, I think, I don't know, if if he could manage me on TikTok. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, like, if you can stop my accounts going, maybe. And he was like, oh, have you had an account ban before? I was like... Are you for real? <laughs> Are you for real? Rachel Skinner's a wrong one. And yeah, we'll see them. Might just need to refresh it, uh, Mama. Oh, for God's sake, it's you with the Mama again. Let me say Mama all the way through. Right, has everyone got their drinks? Has everyone got their snacks? We can... Fucking hell, this sounds like a party behind me. We can stop that shit. We can stop that shit. You guys have tagged me in an absolute mix of stuff, like awareness stuff, wrong and so. Because what you what happens is when you guys tag me, I just click on the video and hit favorite, and then click on the video, hit favorite. Click. So I don't watch them really, but obviously I see kind of what the video may be about. 
and we have like a massive mix we have animal content we have drama content we have awareness content we have random shit i don't even know what this is you know uh choice of tipple i've had a bit already i'm not gonna lie it's fucking bank holiday and i think i'm going out drinking tomorrow <laughs> i don't know i think it might be appropriate i think it might be appropriate i've done all the moving shit i'm gonna celebrate um so i think i just basically need to stay alive tomorrow and then maybe go for a drink um i have a bottle of wine a bottle of 19 crimes as usual we know the crack and then i've already had a beer a can of beer and a big beer and i've got some is it singer i've got a big bottle of singer and then we'll go down to the diet coke and the water until the end of the stream um Oh, there we go. Man, I'm sorted. I have a person that might be awesome for the podcast. Should I insert? 100% are you, Jen? 100%. It's all right. Don't worry. The disco ball. Honestly, I'm... Pff, dudes, like, here, the way I have things set up is, like, I've got my computer in the corner of my room. And I've got, like, a corner desk. But I've got myself a big-ass desk for the new place. And I'm in my bedroom. Like, my bedroom's, like big room but I'm in the corner of my bedroom my bed literally I can touch it right here um in the new place I've got a bigger space it's gonna be easier to have my green screen it's gonna be easier to have a bigger desk for my stuff and everything so I'm really looking forward to it <laughs> shell why the hell not I'm gonna say that that's a type of ginger beer just to keep us safe on YouTube right okay let's get fucking into it i need to lock all this shut down right we're we ready oh, we're ready we're ready retracted the message <laughs> i think you're okay shell don't worry it's just if i was to say it out loud right let's go and i had no hate why it isn't legal elsewhere is beyond me but anyway let's keep going boop boop hasn't got their forever home yet but they like we had a fosterer who was just starting to foster and they were a bit uneasy of, of rabbits. And um, they have Boop Boop. And apparently Boop Boop's been very affectionate and very loving. And they were like, I thought this guy was a troubled rabbit. And I was like, nah, it's cool. I suppose I need to tell you guys, um, I won't be fostering anymore. I won't be fostering anymore. The, if I'm, you know, just transparency. I was served a Section 21 which basically, because I rent this property, I was told the landlord wanted to re uh, like take control of the property, and they said that they were coming back from Hong Kong, where they are, and they wanted to take control of the property to live in. So I had a short period of time to move out. To move out, um. So, <laughs> so I had to I had to basically find a house as quick as I could, and um. There wasn't a lot available, and the house I've got has not got a garden. It has got a big backyard, which will be suitable for my three rabbits, which is Gemma, Jemima, and Travis. And they're actually going to have an indoor space and a big outdoor space. Now, I've also been approved for a mortgage at the same time, because obviously I was like, whoa, you know, we need a plan for the future, because I'm sick of having to obviously deal with this situation if I need to to get a rented house etc especially with two kids and everything you know um so i am looking for a forever home this is a stopgap it's a very nice house but i won't be fostering um so that was the the final lot for now i mean if i ever get a better place with a bigger garden or with a garden full stop there may be options for me to foster maybe one rabbit at a time in the house and stuff like that i'm still going to be um working at the rescue well not working volunteering at the rescue as i do with the wild birds and stuff like that but i can't i haven't got the space unfortunately um you know i've helped rehome over 136 rabbits and um you know it's unfortunately it's one of those things i'm selling my house in scotland i would love to to move away um but you know what I want? The ideal is to have like a small house. I don't give a shit the size of it. A small house with some land 
that I would just convert into a rescue and I'd want to look after birds, rabbits, fucking anything I could look after, you know. Um, I don't think I'd ever get over to Scotland. <laughs> yeah, happy Easter. I will be doing an Easter post tomorrow, which I always do on Instagram with like loads of rabbit pics over the years and stuff. Uh, and my three rabbits are amazing as well. And it's going to be a great chapter for them because they're going to have like a whole backyard and they're going to have a hutch in there that they can obviously get here from during the day and shelter if it's raining. But they're going to have the whole yard for their space. And then there's a little patio area that goes off the off the back of the house into the yard. And in that little patio area, it's like a very small conservatory style, is where they're going to be living on a night so they'll go in there on a night time rather than the hutch outside and then they will be sort of chilling there and if it's a rainy day they can have like a day indoors and stuff like that and then obviously they'll be let out during the day um clocks go forward tonight Pfft. they'll do it automatically i've been talking too long and i need Oh my God, Daniel, thank you for gifting out a membership to Ellie. Ellie's received that membership. Thank you so much. Guys, I've been talking too long. I'm going to have to grab a piss. <laughs> I'm going to have to grab a piss and then we'll get straight back into the reactions. I swear to God, I promise you. I promise you all. But i like to update you guys. They're fucking awesome. I'll be back in one second. I love that you guys count my piss breaks. It's ridiculous. Uh, oh, my God, Catalyst. Gifting out a membership. Thank you so much. You've gifted out to Uruk. Thank you so much. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I just think of Lars Uruk from Metallica. I'm probably so wrong. Right. I said I would get back to this shit, and I'm going to get back to this. Right. Let's go. First video. Let's go. That is all working. Brilliant. One second. Hey, Shall we see what's on the wireless? <laughs> yeah, love number selection, good <laughs> <laughs> He's off his box. What? What's fucking Jar Jar Binks doing there? That was a curveball. I wasn't expecting that. Christ Almighty! Oh, Buffy, so sorry. What is going on with my fucking... Right, give us a second, guys. My bloody... I think it's because I loaded the shit far too early for my stream. Give us a second. We're giving bloody previews of all the videos. There's loads. It's all going to shit. Oh, my God, Daniel, you've just gifted out another membership. Thank you so much to Lydia. Don't forget, guys, members have members-only videos that come out once a month. I need to film one, actually. Fucking hell. I don't think I've got one this month. I'll uh, I'll get one filmed, Jesus Christ. Um, right, let's go. She's having a mince in Waitrose. Can you see this? Not Waitrose. Down here. I, I know, Mama, I'm terrible. I'm just leaning into the Mama thing. <sighs> what is going on? £13.75? Fuck off. I like your phones. Oh, the e-phones. Um, they were on Amazon. I, I think they were quite... Ha! <laughs> Didn't realise the brand until I've looked, which is hilarious. Rock Papa. Search them out. They were kind of reasonable priced, and, you know, they do. I wanted some colourful ones for while I was streaming, you know. She's having a mince in... Wait. 
I am good, thank you. Trace, can you see this? Oh, Shell, you've just gifted out five memberships. Thank you so much. Jade's got one. Carla's got one. E Ella has got one. Kay's got one. And the staff, the Scrafter. I love that. Here, I live well. 13. Thank you, guys. And 75. Fuck off. It's such a lovely thing to do for the community. It really is. And obviously it helps me as well. Ugh. This guy is my spirit animal, but I feel like he can easily make content. He just goes to Waitrose and rants about shit. I've never been to Waitrose. I've never been to Waitrose. I think it would blow my fucking mind. My no, I'm sorry. That looks like a slug. What is that? Roll. It's way too feisty in a bap. And tomato sauce. And the latte. Well, that was fantastic. Whoever tagged me in that, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. That's 30 seconds I ain't getting back. The fastest chihuahua at Crufts. Let's go. So this is going to be cute, I'm sure. Go on, chihuahua. Like, come on. Oh, wow. Jesus that Christ. Fuck me, that is no, fast. Job, Holy on, shit! Let's cheer them home, ladies and gentlemen. This fucking yeah, wind crufts well, on that. that. Oh, smashed it! Smashed it! Sixteen point four four eight. The fuck? Brilliant. Clear round. I've got to say, this is the epitome of reaction Saturday, and it like it could be anything. You guys are tagging me, and it could be literally anything. <laughs> We we'll go from this to Alpha Bar. <laughs> oh, Chelsea, we are. There we go. What the hell? Oh, Gem Zeno. Gem Zeno came in my TikTok stream the other day. I, I still don't know whether it was actually her. I was reacting to TikToks on TikTok and I said that she looked like she was out of her mind. And she came in apparently to tell me she wasn't on drugs and gifted me. And I was like, right, okay. <laughs> you need to gift me more if you want me to say that. The fuck is going this looks like a service station. What is she doing? KFC. I mean I heard their chicken's fucking good, but I didn't think it was that good. Jesus Christ. It just balls me. It's somebody who I don't understand why they get views. <laughs> Becker, I love that. The fuck is this shit? Glad to hear that, Buffy. What the fuck are you doing, you crazy bitch? I'm so glad I didn't work in... Like, I stopped working in hospitality, like, you know, like, chefing or bar work and stuff, um, before TikTok was a thing, because... Honestly, I swear to God, people are doing this, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> are you okay, pet? Clearly not. What I don't get is there's no music. You're dancing without music. You're going to dance until your bargain bucket arrives. Like, what the fuck? I don't get it. The fuck? She wonders why I thought she was on drugs. It's just an interesting... Well, well thanks for that. <laughs> thanks, for that. thanks for that again, guys. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, yes. Lovely. Did you cook that yourself? The only thing I'm laughing at is we know that voice straight away, right? That is Phil from Predator Exposure. Yes, 
please tag me in Predator clips, guys, that are available, because obviously I love to raise awareness for the teams. So if there's any that's on TikTok, please tag me in it, because I know a lot of them get taken down. Um, right, come on, Phil. What is this sting as well? Somebody needs to find this sting for when we're live on Twitch. Is he just casually eating fucking tea while getting stung for being an auntie chops? Nom, 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 nom. Give a bite. Looks lovely. Did you cook that yourself? I had it on late. Did you? All right. Mm. Have you deleted all my messages? Mm. Someone could see them. Well, about shower. Listen, you keep going back to a shower. Never mind about... What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What a nancy chops. Why are you sending videos to... Oh, there's another clip of him. To a child, George. It's wrong. Yeah? And unfortunately, we have to show you now, yeah? Uh, because there's, there's a lot of kids around here. We just heard all kids playing there. Where? What do you mean, where? Fuck, we've just heard kids playing over there. Where? What? Why do you want, why are you looking? Oh, they are. I'm going to let that play again. That was insane. Why are you sending videos to a child, George? It's wrong. Yeah? And unfortunately, we have to show you now, yeah? Uh, because there's, there's a lot of kids around here. We just heard all kids playing there. Where? What do you mean, where? Why do you want, why are you looking? Oh, they are. Yes, Kev, please email me. <laughs> Don't expect a fast response. You know what I'm like, but yeah, please email me, dude. Have you got my email? Why are you sending videos to a child, George? It's wrong. Absolutely wrong. Man. Oh, it's this guy. I love this guy. He did an impression of Princess Flew ages ago that was amazing. That's eye fish fingers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Absolute bird's eye. Check this geezer out. Do not fuck. What the fuck was going on? When did Chelsea do this? With a captain. Uh, on board. When did he fuck with a captain on board? <laughs> That's a brilliant clip. I love that shit. Oh, no, not this again. You guys have done it to me again because I was not happy last time. Making shepherd's pie for my blue-collar husband... After his 15 hour shift. Oh no. It's just slop. I'm sorry. That's horrible. That's horrible. Nah. No that's not mince. What is that? That's not mince. That's not mince please. Like I. Hey I use the Asda bloody cheap shit. Whatever it's called. The one with the bloody yellow label. But you can get the yellow label mints, like actual fucking mints. Like, I'm sorry, like, please, no. God. Good God. Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate that. I'm not the salt again. It's always throwing loads of salt on. I don't know why. What the fuck is that? Oh, no. Why? Oh, the salt again. Oh, fuck off. This is horrible. Why? Why would anybody fucking do this? Who's going to eat that shit? Name and shit, I don't know who tagged me. Like, that's the thing. I don't know who tagged me. The way I do it, I just click and favourite, click and favourite. So I don't really know. I don't know if that could be classed as abuse. I, I, I serving some of that, I don't know. Welsh Dad's out of himself, it was him. You fuck. You fuck Welsh Dad. Oh, no. I mean, I have been hungry and fucking skint before, but... Christ, that's... No. Ha <laughs> ha! This is more like it. Yes. I was just drunk. <laughs> Jesus, you know, if Nana's drinking, so am I. 
Not that I need much encouragement. I need to learn to pace myself. These streams can go on for hours. And I'm usually done me wine in an hour. Brilliant video. <laughs> I'm sorry, these videos crack me up so much. There used to be ones where it was like a, an old dude and he'd be like, I'm looking for women or something like that. He'd be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh no. Oh God. Yes, you lot. You know me. You know me, motherfuckers. Putting some blink on. I brought her to the town. It was a Friday Eve. <laughs> I wore elegant musk to enhance the atmosphere. We began our dalliance, and she removed my trousers. But then I picked up the gazette. And at that moment she excused herself. One lacks good graces when you are 20 and 3. And prefer frivolities such as live theater. Yes! What the devil has reduced attentiveness, Melody? My fellows advise I act my age, restate my age once more, <laughs> restate my age once more. Thank you, Steve. Brilliant video. I love Blink, and that's an awesome video. The fuck is going on here? Is he singing the WAP? I love you, baby. You are my second wife. I love you, baby. This guy's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Do you know what I, I absolutely love that somebody filmed somebody like this and put it on social media because it's the kind of guy who's just been fucking killing it and making people laugh for years and just a bit of recognition for him to be on a you know what I mean to be out there. Brilliant. I am the sky looking at you. Cheers, guys. I can drink your wine. <laughs> yeah, Legend. Oh. oh, he killed him. He smacked him in the back of the head. That was fucking brutal. Open <laughs> Maybe, but no, no mama at wall. That, 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 that metal thing there, that metal thing that he's cooking on is a hot plate. The more you know. Oh, fuck off, you guys. You fucking dickheads. And you know, this triggers the fuck out of me. This triggers it. And I know it's a joke. It's a joke. And nobody's hopefully going to goddamn eat it. But what the. No. No, man. No, 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 no. no. Please no, please no, please no. Oh, the fuck are the put? Oh God, <laughs> why, why? Oh yeah, evenly distributed, so that'll solve the problem. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Oh the oh no, sorry, right? Okay, sorry. I thought that the the pan was a joke, you know, like a dirty pan. That's a dirty fucking oven as well. I don't think this is a joke anymore. <laughs> like, like your oven's filthy. Like, that can't be part of the joke. You haven't made that oven that filthy just for this. Like, I'm sorry. Nah. Why were frying peas? The hell's... Why? Who the fuck fries peas? Oh, God, no. I cannot. I cannot. I can't. Sorry, I hit the mic. Oh my fucking god, it's pink. It's pink, isn't it? It's just me that thought I was pink. Like, I'm colourblind as shit, but... Parts of that would definitely be... No, I'm... Nah. I hate you all. Excited. <laughs> What's going on here? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Too hot. 
toast. This is funnier than I expected. What the fuck is going on? Like these these live reactions are getting more ridiculous as time goes on. I am dead. No, oh, it's Zach. You're in the nick. Don't worry about snow. They do spice on tick. Love Sophie Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead. Right. <laughs> Suck. Nice. Hey, Jesse oh. King. I've just come across... What is Pearl doing beefing with Jesse King? I need to have a word. <laughs> I need to have a word. Pearl, what are you doing? Why are you beefing with some random con psychic who I am doing a deep dive on? I'm trying to get myself booked a reading. I want to book myself a reading with Jesse King. And he doesn't realise and halfway through I'm going to be like, why the fuck are you scamming people, you fucking prick? <coughs> um, but, you know, I, I, that's it. video from you. Um, and definitely, we would not claim you as gypsy or traveller people. And is he? Is he a gypsy? What part of being a gypsy and a traveller person? Right, Pearl. What's with the frills on the fucking dressing gown? I have to ask, why have you got grandma's doilies on your fucking dressing gown? It's a fashion choice, and I respect it. It's definitely got attention. But uh, what... <laughs> Does it mean that you're going to go and rob a pensioner? What? Let's listen. You'll know about robbing pensioners and other people on this app when you're messing around and playing with the dead with your little fake things that you do. So don't come for gypsies and travellers. I am Pearl Price. Come on my page and you come and tell me about how um, or why you think that gypsies and travellers rob all people. So... Oh... You just randomly attack gypsies. What? Oh, do they bam it? Right, okay, that's just my ignorance. Till you know your facts and you come with proof, shut your mouth. You, it was absolutely taking people for a pure mug on this app by pretending you can contact somebody from the... I mean, what she saying is right. I can't disagree. Dead. Are you all blessed, Lord God? No, you're not. So shut your mouth. And if you've got something to say, just come onto my page when I'm live. That's all I've got to say to you. I'd put, right, okay, move on. What is this? Right. Oh, it's this guy he did commentary last time. Happy Sunday, people. It's Beg Reset. Oh, it's Beg Reset on Sundays, yes. That day. And first, we have Half a Pence Gifter who is practicing his boxing with a. If people listen to me to go to sleep. <coughs> Choking. <coughs> Fucking hell. <coughs> I apologise. I've waken you from your slumber. Um, just, just, just settle down. Just, just, <laughs> just lie your head back down. Like, <laughs> just close your eyes. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. Fucking hell. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. I need to drink some more water. Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking hell. I've lost it. I've lost it. Right, okay. I apologise to, to all the sleepy listeners. Right. House fly. But as usual come of worst, his next opponent is a ladybird. Next. I want more wine, but I dare not drink it. Next, we have General G-String, who looks like he... <laughs> <laughs> forgot his pee kit and had to raid the lost property he seems to playing badminton um surprised he ain't using his massive python to hit the <laughs> is that actual footage of him playing badminton i don't know why but i need to see it the shuttlecock we have brixton we fart who was watching people get a group photo thinking they would want brixton we fart her in it because she is famous. But they ignored her thinking she was in fancy dress as a Bo Selecta character. So... <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Sophie Rose has taken over box battles in place of Locked Up. They won't let me out, Dirty Derek. 
She was counting down from 10 to 0, but got stuck, so had to Google the numbers. She also thought she felt the baby kick, but it was just a big fart. And last of of all, we have Lawrence, who is fuming again about something. I think someone took his armbands at swimming, maybe. <laughs> Random shot on Lawrence, I love it. Right, let's go. The first steel cage. <laughs> I've seen this video and I'm still pissing myself. This is an old video, man, I'm sure. Yeah, this was uploaded in 21, man. Jesus Christ, because back then I had done an exposure on Ian Moore. It was one of my first deep dives um, when I used to do them on TikTok. And people tagged me in this back then. Fuck, this is brilliant. Match is here. It's Lawrence versus King Ian Moore. Who are you rooting for in this fight? I'm rooting for Lawrence, guys. I just remember this back in the day. I was pissing myself. Seems like Lawrence is having him. Oh, by the way, guys, like I always get copyright strike for music clips. Right, and then I always choose to edit them the next day and like remove those bits, but then the video never gets monetized anyway because I call people fat, uh, children loving motherfuckers, you know. Um, that's you know, that's gonna stop me getting monetization anyway, so I'm not gonna waste my time editing out clips with copyright anymore, they're just gonna be up for whatever reason, you know. You can watch these videos. Without me gaining, if that makes sense. You guys help anyway with the team fact stuff and everything. <laughs> Unfiltered facts ain't getting monetization. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yes! No, Lawrence, get him! Get him, Lawrence. I swear to God. You know when I used to do my live streams that were like based on one particular creator? I think an Ian Moore one would be interesting. I don't know. Revisit it. Exactly, I fuck it. What's the point? What's the point in trimming it all out? Oh, Lawrence got him. Right, you know what? Oh, Christ. Right, there's only one thing I can do right now, which is...
I'm back. Thank you so much, B, for that super chat. I really appreciate that, just like everyone who's joined uh, Team Fact as well. So this is a big one here. So Tyrone goes in against Rick and the Enablers. So last week we reacted to the fact that Rick, Rickster, I don't like Rickster. I, I don't make it a fucking secret. I think he's a little jumped up prick. Um, but Rickster had met Angie to apparently help her and took her to the pub while she got pissed. Um, it was a whole thing, right? Um, sorry, one sec, my son's texting me. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. I so I understood that Tyrone obviously had seen this reacted to this and then I assume he's called Rickster out because why would you take somebody who you want to help who you're saying is an alcoholic to a fucking pub um, <laughs> sorry I, I my sister and my family were organising like a holiday in August. My mum, my dad, my sister, her husband, her two, my nieces, and obviously me and my kids. And she just sent me the name of the pub that's nearby, and the name is hilarious, but I can't share it with you guys, obviously, because, you know. But I will at some time. It's fucking hilarious. Um... Right, okay, sorry about that. Getting distracted by everything. But anyway, let's see what Tyrone had to say. So you can't even answer this question. Yeah. So look, this is, this is how we silly people can be mate, on this app. Like this house. is how silly people can be on this app because you're sitting here saying that the sentence, oh, I want to get to know her. I know she's an alcoholic. I've been through this ABCDFG myself. But then you can't answer the question to he say we can buy her fair. a drink. I've just answered the question. I've just answered the question. Yeah, Rickster, just say yeah, because I'll you answer said, yeah. as if, well, as well, if then, he was asking well, me, and yeah, I would. If I was so, in a restaurant with someone and they asked for a glass of wine, I would not turn around. You, say, so you're telling you me, wait, 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 you're wine. telling me, you're telling me you would buy somebody that has a drinking problem, a drink to increase that everyone's problem. concerns about the drinking problem. Let's get that right, guys. ER, Ty Is Tyrone having to go against every one of them? Because all of what they're saying is, is bullshit. Bro, it's not my what you husband do at all. was a recovering alcoholic, right? So when we first got together, he was an alcoholic. And if we went out and he wanted a pint, he had a pint. It's as simple as that. Because I would not turn around to him, a grown ass man, and go, You're not having a pint. You can't. What? I don't know how I feel about that, but it's like. I would just be like, I'm sorry, I can't be in a relationship with you because you haven't got this under control yet. You need to get this under control. There's no such thing as a part-time alcoholic. You know what I mean? And if you want to to recover and get past addiction, then you don't drink sometimes. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I am getting the dregs. I've got a bottle of beer left, and then that should do me. Spend the rest of the stream sobering up around and said to my husband when I was with him, you can't drink, I would have been punched in the face. Because I think I'm going to go through Newcastle tomorrow and have a drink. But I'm going to start in the afternoon, I think. A alcoholic get drink. Yeah, a alcoholic will get drink if they got my, my partner. Listen, yeah, listen, listen, love, this is li I don't know who it is. Is it Shelley? Fucking, I don't know which one it is. I like Tyrone. Tyrone talks so much sense. And you know Rickster only let Tyrone in the box because he knows Tyrone will pull the views in. But I believe, because I saw a bit of this, 
Tyrone's on like a dead account, like an account that obviously is worth risking, basically. Well, I asked a simple question. The question was... Is, is Alex anti-Angie still or fucking up Angie's ass? I, I can't work it out. I, I don't really know Alex a lot. I'm not judging the guy at all, but like... He hated Angie for so fucking long. Then I see him in the comments, but I'm not 100% sure whether it's a troll account, you know, pretending to be Alex. And then I see Alex also still popping up in any account live that is anti-Angie, and I'm like, I don't know, like, pick a side. But maybe he has picked a side, and I just think the troll account is him. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Oh, I love Newcastle. Love the people. Should I be cheeky and be like, here's my table number, guys. Send me drinks and a fucking Weatherspoons. I get all the fucking wrong ones turning up. <laughs> you buy an alcoholic a drink. It was depends on the day with Alex. I mean, like, I don't know enough about the dude. I, I don't have any issues with Alex at all. Um, I just don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Would you stop them from drinking? It wasn't would you snatch a drink from their hand? It wasn't would, like anything else. It was just literally one question. I get on with Luke. Well, do you guys know that I've been invited to the next TikTok piss up? <laughs> like fucking Luke invited me. Luke was like, "Oh, come um what was it? Get down the Mile Castle, mama." Um Luke was like, um what did he say? Yeah, Luke invited me to this the next fucking TikTok piss up. You know how they streamed the last one? And he's like, "We'd love you to be there." There's quite a few of us who were going and we'd all get on with you and we'd all like you to be there. And I was like, how many of these fuckers have I exposed? I'll tell you exactly what I said, right? I'm not going to give out their information because they said where they're all staying at a travel lodge and fucking all sorts of shit like that. want to pick a charity in the comments? Like, people assume, I think, if you're on social media that you're a very social person. I can be. I suppose after a drink and stuff. I don't know how I would feel in this situation. And I like Luke. Luke's all right. I don't have a problem with Luke. And it was nice of him to ask. And I might. I might. I'm still on the fence about it. He said, uh, James, we're having a TikTok party. I'm not going to give out dates or anything like that because I'm not going to cause any issues for them. Um, It's in May. That's all I'll give you. It's in May. I said, ha ha. How many people that I've exposed will be there? <laughs> I was like, how many of them are going to be there? Um, and he said 20. And I was like, oh, God. She was like, we have about 20 creators coming for the night. I'd like you there. I'm not going to put the next bit, but I'll, I'll laugh emoji to it. And they said I could bring two people. And I was like, mm, right. Um, can't be... Uh, I'm not going to say it, but they invited me, all right? And I was thinking about it. Like, I'm not ruling it out. I'm not saying no. But the thing is, I'm not the kind of guy who'd be, like, streaming on the... Like, to be fair, if I go on the piss sometimes when I'm on my own, I'll have my phone up and I'll talk and I'll be on the piss. But after a, <laughs> after a certain time... After a certain time, like, it's just a bit awkward. I, I don't think I could be, like, getting to know people and talking to people, if that's what it is, and um, streaming at the same time on my platform. Do you know what I mean? Um, if I was, obviously, platform like wanting to build, it would be a great opportunity. Uh, but I don't think I could be walking around streaming and doing shit. But the idea of me being, like, behind, like, Evil Queen, for example, and then being like, hey, motherfucker, like, I don't know. It could be quite funny. But I'm not, and I don't think anybody has a major issue with me, but, like, I feel like it's a bit different because <laughs> I can't turn up to a fucking piss-up and there'd be somebody I've exposed there. I'd be like, hey, for real? Okay, Miss Red's already fucking dropped the bollock, apparently. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted. I'm not gonna lie. Is it just? Is it just ridiculous to to ask them for the guest list though? Do you know what I mean? Like, because you could have somebody. All right, if everybody can bring two guests, then you could have somebody that. Oh God, do you know who I'd bring? Do you know how I'd bring Stan Blade? <laughs> 
if you guys don't know Stan Blade, I don't think you guys would have known that like I'm a big fan of Stan. I was on Stan Blade's podcast like a few years ago and everything like that. He has a very dry, funny, ridiculous sense of humour. Um, autistic dude who's fucking brilliant and he's funny. And if I could bring any guest <laughs> that would cause problems, <laughs> it'd be Stan Blade. And honestly, right, fucking hell. I need to get in touch with him. I need to get in touch with Stan Blade and I'll be like, Stan, me and you are going to fucking grips me. <laughs> Who the hell would I be there? Who the hell else, right? Me, Stan Blade. Who else would I bring? Like, I want to bring TikTok creators that they wouldn't necessarily expect to be there. Um, just to, like, shake shit up. Who the hell could I bring? Like, I'm tempted to just bring Tam. Like, I'm not fucking mates with Tam. Everyone thinks I'm mates with Tam. Tam knows. I told Tam, I was like, we're not friends. You know, I find it a bit awkward that people just, you know, like, if you go live with somebody or you speak to somebody or you pass on a bit that you're, like, mates or something. But just, like, because that would just really stir the shit. I'll bring the loose of Angie. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, the loose of, get yourself on a fucking train... You know, my <laughs> so like I'll be okay because I'll just set them out into the party and they'll cause all the shit, and I'll just sit back and be like, bottle of crimes, <sighs> enjoy yourselves, guys. <laughs> Invite Alpha <Elphabar>. Bar. <laughs> Alpha Bar's nuts, right? And uh, for lots of reasons, obviously. But Alpha Bar once was like, hey guys, uh, I want everyone to check out the Fact Freak. They did a deep dive on Jordan Dash, which is somebody that she doesn't like. And I'm like, my top view deep dives on you, motherfucker. I'm like, you're going to skim past that part? Um, I'd love to invite Stan Blade. Look at this, right? I'm going to get on the phone to Stan Blade right now. I don't think he'll fucking he'll answer, right? Is he on fucking? He goes off. Right, okay. Right, Stan, you crazy bitch. I'm live on YouTube right now. It doesn't matter how many people are listening. Maybe I fell off. Who knows? But I have an invite to a TikTok gathering involving people like Miss Red, uh, Luke the Judge, and a lot of other people. And I've been told that I can bring along two other guests. Now, you are top, top in my mind, Mr. Stan. Top in my mind. Now I'm just saying that they would love you. <laughs> that honestly, mate, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Honestly, dude, let fucking do it. <laughs> let's. Could you imagine, right? You don't believe me if I've said that? I'm not going to show our DMs, obviously. Jesus, that would be crazy. Um, no matter how many people are listening. Maybe I fell off. Who knows? But I have an invite... This is funny, right? One of the last messages I sent Stan, he did a video about it as well. Look at this, right? This is at the rescue, and I was putting in newspaper for the hedgehogs, and one of the newspaper <laughs> articles was him. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. I want Stan there. I want Stan there. If Stan says yes, then I'm up for it. Miss Red said she's not. She is. She definitely isn't doing things with a man. That's just evil queen stirring the shit. But it's funny. I would have to get. I would have to get pissed, guys, to go. I would have to get pissed to go. I have to swear to God. Is it, is it pretentious to be like, I'll bring Stan Blade and a cameraman? <laughs> Something like, I ain't going live on TikTok, but here's a spare phone with my account. Stream this shit. <laughs> is that pretend that would be more pretentious than any TikToker that's turned up? <laughs> so you, if you was out with a like... get them to film it on the camera, edit for a YouTube video. And you knew she launched a... Right, what? You 
Well, right. if you miss while you went in the toilet, just me talking shit. You keep saying a lady and all this gentleman shit, bro. Like, like sim- the simple the question is... I'm, I'm throwing the same question back at you. You're in Right, just tell me, guys, right? How many of you want me to go to this thing in Grimsby? How many of you want me there? Oh, for sake, I regret this. You're all going to vote for it, aren't you? You're in a restaurant with somebody you know has had a drink. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy someone I know that suffers with an alcohol problem a drink. Simple as that. Also, oh, Rickston bought her a drink. I would not Jesus do that. Christ. would never do that. Even I wouldn't do that. That's, that's... You're going to get it regardless. You're not going to pay for it regardless. You could I wouldn't support... I wouldn't... Wow, Rickster. Support them, damn it. Take it move fuck off. Imagine themselves more. No. Simple as that, bro. Like, bro, like, come on <laughs> now, like, have some morals. Like, what the fuck? Like, why would why would you do that? Who would do that? Do a poll. Can you imagine Tyrone if they were sat in a... Oh, I think I can do a poll in here, you know. I'm not sure. Um, yes, I can start a poll. Um, shall... <laughs> Piss up? Question mark. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Look at that. Piss up? No. <laughs> Take Lucy Ross. Fuck off. Now, do you know what? Let me let me spin this. Let me spin this question. Right. We want a live stream. I'd have to take somebody who would live stream. And, like, my, my closest friends who are on TikTok definitely wouldn't entertain any of that shit, so I don't know. Lexi's on voice, this bloke, yeah. Oh, I like my own voice. I, I've, I've spoke the less, but let me let me flip this question then, yeah. Fuck's sake, has any of you voted no? Okay, some of you voted no. Okay, we've got... But, fucking hell, it's so overwhelming. I would have to get somebody to film and then edit it into a video or something. Yeah, so you're Man, saying... Just tried to talk, talk and you talked talk over it. Go ahead, speak, mate, speak. Right, if can you? I love it, right? Because Tyrone's in this stream on an account that's got about three k on it. I think I saw, and these people possibly don't know who the fuck he is. Now, I'm not saying that you should treat people any different, but I feel like they don't know who he is as a person as well. He's quite a fair person. Tick Angie, fucking hell. No, like me and Angie are cool, but she's also cool with the slug. You know what I mean? Like, as fun as that would be. No thanks. Imagine if they went... I hope Stan Blade better get replying to me in a voice note. I swear to God. I message his fucking... <laughs> I was going to say, I message his kid's mum, right? And that sounded like a really like aggressive, like, stalkery thing. I'm friends with her as well. <laughs> uh, Ricky Vet, Ricky fucking Vet. Ricky Vet, Ricky. Ricky, you saucy bitch. Right, now, you and I have wanted to go on the drink for a while. Now, I've been invited to a piss-up in Grimsby. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Grimsby's a shithole. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter when you're drunk, all right? Um, but I've been invited by Miss Red and uh, a lot of other creators. Now... I've invited Stan Blade because he's a fucking wild card. I'm allowed another vet. I'm not allowed a vet. That was a slip of the tongue. I'm pissed, Ricky. I'm pissed. Um, but I would imagine as an ex-vet, I could sort of double you as security. <laughs> I also double you as security. And also, man, we, we've we needed to get on a drink for a long time. Tell me. It's going to be up Grimsby. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up and drive you there, man. I know, I know. It's going to be beautiful. Will Stan Blade S assault us? Maybe. You know, we'll see. I've got, I'm sure I've got Ricky's actual number. i got Mark Monk. Man, we could, we could take some crazy people out there for a drink. I swear to God. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just say to Luke, Luke, look. I'd love to come, but I'm going to need to bring three people, not two. It's going to be Mark the Monk. Uh, absolute fucking wild card from Newcastle who's off his tits. Stan Blade and Ricky Vett. Or Liam Terrible. Liam Terrible can bring his fucking van. We'll all sleep in there together. Um, <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Into that restaurant. And he said, right, what do you want to drink, Ange? And she said, a glass of wine. And he said, 
Well, no, I'm not buying you the glass of wine, Andy. Yeah, 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 drop me down. I die. Uh, To be honest, this bloke is getting on my fucking tits. Get me out of here. Shut the fuck up. What bloke's getting on your tits, Tyrone? Who's telling you as it is? (laughs) (laughs) I've got the red wine cheeks. The camera changes angles as well, so it makes me bright red, which is ridiculous. This 4K camera is supposed to, like, you see, right here, it's supposed to adjust even if it's not bright light. But for some reason, it matches the colour of my headphones to my face. It's definitely that, not the wine. Like you, you got the truth in it. Just don't like the truth in it. Just get the truth in it. Let me spin it like this to you, right? Knowing Anne. You know what's a weird thing to say? Let's spin it to you like this. You don't have to spin the truth usually. Angie, and I have met Angie myself. If I was out with Angie and Angie wanted a drink and I said no. That's not the question. No, hang on, hang on. Excuse me, let me speak, right? Thanks. If I did not buy Angie a drink, trust me, Angie would go and buy herself that drink. So- and then you wouldn't be enabling her to drink because she would have done it herself. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Like... Yes, I'm pouring a drink of water. Yes, it's taking some concentration. Can you hear it on the mic? Maybe. I don't know. Um, Tyrone is one of these creators who, like, obviously, I know he's, this is fucking music and everything. He's obviously very successful with his music and he's very successful on Twitch as a streamer and obviously on here. But he's one of those people where, like, I never hear him saying anything wrong. Do you know what I mean? I never hear him being a bell end. Nobody's coming to me and going, facts, you need to do a deep dive on Tyrone. Like, everything's saying is right. And these people are enabling the behaviour, 100%. Oh, well, listen here, Sally. Well, listen here, Sally. I might have been pissing. That wasn't the question, Sally. Okay. Would you genuinely meet me tomorrow, Mama, and your fella or whoever else? Okay, that wasn't the question. Who are you talking to? The question was... I want to go on the piss tomorrow. <laughs> I've not been influenced by Andrew, you know. I swear to God. I've, I've wanted to do it. It's bank holiday and I've got some time off and I've made progress on the packing. I want to reward myself. Would you and buy I'm an alcohol you, a drink? It- yeah, Kev, he does, doesn't he? It's not a beer. Don't judge me. Okay. Whether Rick bought it for her or not, she would go and buy it herself. Well, then at least you're not leaning towards the what point they're doing, doing Sally. Good evening, Paddy. Do you want coffee, Angela? And she's like, no, I want a drink. Okay, well, she should buy it herself. She's an angel of herself to be drunk. Well, then, 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 then that's what, then, look, yeah, I agree, Kay. Then that's when you've got to step back and be a friend and be like, you know what, I can't watch you do this. Can you do that in the pub, like in Newcastle? I'm talking like the Mile Castle or something like that. You're a friend with that person. You care of that person. You'd be like, you know what? I can't watch you do this. I can't. Yeah, I'd bring the hubby. Buy you a drink. No, you I feel like I'm in that moment, Angie doesn't care whether you're a friend or not, mate. Angie wants a drink. End off. Just hook it on the edge. She doesn't care. That's exactly the point here. She doesn't give a flying fuck. She wants a drink, right? She wants a drink, right? That's you, the you, you, when you can say bye and leave. Then, Angie, and I've, I've, I've actually made this question. I've got to say, I'm surprised Alex isn't getting involved and there's a few others that aren't speaking because it is just like everyone against Tyrone. An in general question. I'm not talking about. Yeah, but a the whole situation person. is it Rick being out with Angie. Listen, I've okay. been there. Tyrone so, wants to be two shoes and turn around and say, "Oh, I want buy an alcoholic a drink, right? And I want buy somebody who likes to drink a drink." If you're in a restaurant, right, and, and uh, they're gonna get the drink anyway. Okay, cool. All right, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Is, well, let them get the drink. Wait, wait, wait. The question is, will you pay for that drink? Okay. Will you pay for that drink? And the answer to your question is, you would not pay for that drink. That's what you're trying to say. Okay, I'm so saying, Rick, oh, Rick, let me. Does he? You'll have to show me that. Hey man, North East lot, let's have a drink tomorrow. Let me spin this question like this. Let me spin this question like this, yeah? So you're, you're saying that she'll get the drink herself. Now let's flip this. Say you had a, a, a kid, right? 
Rachel, you know what it is? That's a really good point. Tyrone sounds like he's experienced uh, being around an alcoholic. They're saying they, they want to get alcohol. Would you get your kid alcohol or would you not get your kid alcohol? Answer that. Because they're going to get it anyway. So would you just give it to them? No. Well, there you go. There you go. You just answered it. No. That's, that's, a, that's a Brilliant point, Tyrone. Oh, That's a ridiculous way of putting it. Top comment on this video, Tyrone with facts. They don't listen. Oh, it's it's the it's 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 Do you know what it is, right? Um, right, okay. Evil Queen and I have had a weird relationship on social media um, because I didn't like what she did with the Evil Queen. I didn't like some of the things she said. It was horrific, right? But then when I was outing predators on tiktok chelsea would come into my live and ask to be in the box or i would go live with chelsea and i would talk to chelsea and i would have a good laugh with chelsea right and chelsea would say i'm here to boost your numbers because people should know about these predators and that you can't fault you can't fault that you can't right and it was a bit awkward now <sighs> Um, feisty Aisha Auckland tried going at Chelsea and said that Chelsea was a predator because she engaged in conversation with kids while she was gaming on Twitch and other things. I'll tell you now, like that's fucking commonplace. That's commonplace on on Twitch and YouTube. There's a little bit of a disconnect between the users. On TikTok, it's more like personal, if that makes sense, and. If you're gaming with a kid, I, I don't know what the crack was, but basically, Feist, pardon me, Feisty made a lot of claims about Chelsea to do with like kids and shit like that, that she couldn't actually back up. She never fucking backed up at all. Not fucking one point, right? She didn't fucking back it up. She didn't fucking back it up once, right? Now, at the time... Obviously, Feisty was friends with Miss Red, so Feisty was going in to Miss Red's, and Miss Red and Chelsea, the art, uh, Chelsea, sorry, Evil Queen had issues. So, Miss Red would let Feisty speak, and Feisty would talk shit about Evil Queen and say that they had proof that she was in there with minors and all that sort of shit, right? Now, Feisty, so far, and obviously we all know I hit that sluggy cunt, right? I hit her. She's vile. She's a horrible person. She abused kids and was removed as a foster carer for children, right? She's horrendous, right? She's fucking horrendous. But she went to the Evil Queen and said she had a load of evidence, right? She had a load of evidence that Evil Queen was a wrong And she had fucking nothing. Now, if, if Feisty had came out and put out evidence... Regardless of what I think about Feisty, you know, like, you could be somebody I fucking hate, like her. And I do fucking hate Feisty. But if you came out and you had solid evidence, I'd be like, the evidence is there. You can't dispute the evidence. The evidence is there. You're backing up what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? Like, when it comes to me and my ethos about fucking trying to protect people and doing stuff like that, even if somebody that I fucking despise came out with evidence against a predator, then I would still be like, fucking, I hate that cunt, but this is right. This is a predator. People need to be aware, etc. But she came out about this shit to do with e um, EQ, and um, she had no evidence. So EQ basically called her out on the fact she had no fucking evidence. And then EQ reached out to me because we've been loosely connected, like I said, because obviously Evil Queen had jumped in my lives, as she said, to boost views because she was passionate about predators not being on the app. Um, and then, <clears throat> then obviously, Feisty then started this shit, and then Evil Queen was like, oh, well, you fell out with Feisty. And so she got in touch with me and I said, well, yeah, I have fell out with her. And I recorded, I had a call with Evil Queen, I'm not going to lie, I had a call on fucking Instagram and I recorded, I record all calls like that and I've still got it. And um, I basically told Evil Queen exactly what had gone on, 
what had gone on. I asked Evil Queen about the accusations against her because, once again, if somebody had actually provided evidence that those things were true, then I would have used that call in with any evidence and then put out a video, but there was no fucking evidence of it. Um, and then Feisty spanned the narrative of all oh, the fact freak loves Evil Queen. I assume Evil Queen said something, you know, to piss Feisty off. Um, not the fucking case. Not the fucking case. Um, <laughs> but there was no evidence of Evil Queen being a predator. Has she said horrible shit? Yes, she fucking has. She did say horrible fucking shit. Um, but I have to, like, sort of decide. Like, look at the guy we did a deep dive on tonight, right? He drugged and raped a 16-year-old. So there's people who'd be like, hey, fact freak, look at this guy. He's drugged and raped kids, and he's on TikTok. Look at Evil Queen. She said horrible shit. I have to then go, what is the priority of putting shit out? Now, <clears throat> at the time, you know what I mean? Evil Queen's kind of switched things up a bit more because Evil Queen is funny without doing all of the Evil Queen shit that she was known of. She, she's just genuinely funny when she's doing other things. And I think she maybe needed to know that as well. The thing with Feisty, Feisty had no evidence. She had no evidence. And then when Feisty was like, oh, well, he loves Evil Queen, he bots Evil Queen, whatever. Feisty went on a Reddit trying to fucking stir shit, trying to say stuff over there. But the reality is... When Evil Queen started backing me on Exposure Lives, Feisty was still a friend in the outskirts, it licking my ass. said, oh, Evil Queen, Evil Queen, I love you. And she was like, oh, I, I loved you through the Pearl scams on Facebook. Feisty knew fucking Evil Queen ages before I even knew who the fuck she was. Do you know what I mean? Um... But it was just a whole weird thing. I mean, in that whole situation between Feisty saying Evil Queen talked to kids and Evil Queen saying Feisty's full of shit, who do you back in that, guys? Do you back Feisty? Do you back, back Evil Queen? And I won't have an issue with any... Obviously, you guys know I don't like Feisty. I won't have any issue with that. I just want to know, guys, if you back... Evil Queen in that argument, put a Q in the chat right now, in the live chat. If you back Feisty, put an F. You will not be blocked if you put a Feisty. I'm not going to hold anything against anybody, but I just want to know. I'm just interested. And while you do that, I'm going to grab a piss, and then we'll get back onto this video. All right. Not one vote for for Feisty. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, you know, like, I'm indifferent. Like, I respect people. Um, 
you know, I, I wouldn't think that you guys would just placate to me. Well, I would hope you wouldn't. Um, but in that particular argument, Feisty had no fucking evidence, you know? Piss break three. <laughs> Damn right. Um, right, okay. Let's keep going with this one. Ridiculous was whether you get it for them or not, and they want it, if they're old enough, they're going to get it themselves anyway. Yeah, but if you don't get it, you're not enabling them. Regardless. She's you just go, you fucking get it. Grown and if you do get it, I'm going to go home. She's not a kid. Mate, like, well, you're missing the point. We're not missing the, the point, day. Tyrone, because you've hammered it home. We're not missing the point whatsoever. You, I think Rick's still what you're you are, love. saying is, yeah, I would pay for a drink and then that might put all this to bed. I understand exactly where Tyrone's coming from. I understand so the question. Do I? Well, you know, different points, that's it. 15 so, bottles, so the you ways said, of looking at it, like we've said, if you hadn't have got her a drink, she would have got a drink herself. Mm. Oh, that, that just makes perfect sense then. Do you know what? Buy her a crate tonight, because she's going to buy one. So you might as well, you might as well send her the money and buy it. No, that's the that's if you, I'm saying I was in a restaurant with her. I was in a, I was in a cocktail. I'm not breaking in the Easter eggs. Our restaurant, Who else is? Right, and she ordered a glass of wine. Am I going to pay for it? Of course I am. You know, she went to buy herself and got herself. I a don't understand this. Like Rick says, like of course I am. Of course I want to buy her a drink. Fuck. So I, I can't control what the woman does. That's it. When I'll pay for the, I pay for the alcohol. But would I go down with a crate of lager to an alcoholic with a bottle of whiskey? So many people who are quiet. So there you go. No, I wouldn't. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's exactly, the... Tyrone. Exactly. Difference. I'm, I'm in, I'm in a premises where she's got to have a glass of wine. I'm in her company. Do you understand? Honestly, Mama, the way I'm looking at it, I'm saying if I can get a bloody room, <laughs> get a room at the quayside and have a good drink and come back on bloody Monday. I mean, I'm not enabling her when she's going to get the drink anyway. She's going to get the whiskey or the alcohol to her house anyway. Whether she's in the house it. or whether she's in the pub, she'll get that though, Rick. That's Pardon? the point, isn't it? Whether Why she was in the restaurant or whether she I love this app, you know. I love this app. I literally love this app because oh. even when something is completely 100% wrong... There is people that will be on the wrong side. I love it, you know. Do you know what? It it, it keeps people entertained, and that's, I guess people are entertained right now. So I guess that's what it is, isn't it? You just keep entertaining people. I not see the bigger picture here. Angie needs support. All this constant negativity isn't going to help her right now, is it? Okay, so what about... Oh, so what about Hang on, let me spin this now, because to be quite honest, right, I've heard this for days, and I am actually quite sick of it. Alex... I just got an awesome <laughs> shit. Fucking hell. To be fair, they were pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. Like the, the video was going on a while. I don't know what the fuck this is. But I've just had a comment on the deep dive tonight, and I absolutely love this. Fact freak, you have the whole of Northern Ireland behind you now. I hope to God both sides of the community subscribe to you and help your channel grow. Thank you for giving this creature the exposure he deserves. Not his rap slash singing, but his fucking awful behaviour. Do you know what I mean? Like, fucking comments like that make my fucking day. And stuff like this, James, love your videos, mate. Keep up the good work. You said how it is. It's fucking lovely to hear. It really is. <clears throat> My son's been to the pictures to see, uh, was it Godzilla versus some shit? He, he loves those movies, he's going to say it. Right, let's get into this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brutal. Jesus. <laughs> you got to love this shit. I'm fucking liking this. I've, I'm, I need to do this, right? The ones that I see that I really like, I need to film a oh, silly reaction for TikTok. Um, thank you, Kev. Do it, James. I like sitting sound. Mm. Mama's... Right, are you actually going to turn up on the piss? Who here watches me from the northeast? I am going to be out on the drink tomorrow night. Is it a meet-up? It's a meet-up. You've got to buy me at least a half a Guinness. Let's go. I, I my car. Oh shit, this is the HS TikToky shit. 
Did he get arrested? I'm filming this because I haven't touched my car, I haven't driven my car. So they're now, they're now taking me and I haven't driven my car. So I'm, just, I'm not driven my car, so that's fine. It's been parked here for time, so that's fine. I've not driven my car, I've been stopped here. <laughs> oh shit. The gun just got kicked out. It literally just Maybe got kicked out. I need the videos on this. I need to do a YouTube on the shit. The YouTube? Who knows? I'm not driving my car. I've not he, touched he it. He just got kicked out. So I've not touched my car tonight. I'm not driving. I've parked up here. I've got a hotel room booked, which I can show you. That's what I saw, yeah. Kev Carrot, did you see your Newcastle? Yeah. What I need to do is just high second the doctor inside. Like, if I need to do though, it's the same thing to be arrested. He's fled to Dubai. But, what, what, what section is this? Yeah, the traffic up me. What, what section is this? I didn't drive my car. Well, who else has driven it then? I, I didn't drive my car. Where's the keys for the keys? He doesn't realise everything he's saying right now will be used as evidence. Everything. Everything. Where's the keys? Thank you, Mama. Wait, they might be in my pocket. Oh. Am I under arrest? Uh, yeah. am, am I under arrest? You need to provide a special move arrest. But on, under what section? What, what section is this for? Oh. Oh. The Road Traffic Act. Section 4, or section 4, but what have I done? What, what have you seen? Alright, come on, let's hit Google. Alright, fucking hell, it's been a while in it. Google, let's go over here. Road Traffic Act, Section 4. Oh, oh Christ. I'll, I'll get this where, where you guys can actually see it. Um, under Section 4, it is an offence if a person drives or attempts to drive a motor vehicle on a road unfit for drunk... Oh, right, yeah. So basically they've been like, we suspect you of this. Yeah. 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 But I've not been driving the vehicle. Right. Okay. He is a twat. But how? Oh, no, no, but, but how though? Because this has got to be lawful, and I know the law very well. Oh, Northwest. I ain't travelling to the Northwest, I'm afraid. Well, Deep dive on him would be good. He does give me the creeps. He did like some good stuff, and I'm always a bit suspicious of people who do randomly good things. To like spin a narrative about them, because he obviously did. Um, I don't know, but there was a, there was a couple of people who were like struggling on TikTok, and he like brought them up and hit the, got them to hit the weekly rankings and all this sort of shit. Uh, but I don't know. There's no three hour drive. I'm going to fucking Newcastle. I'm going to book a place by the end of the night. I swear to God. One of the places I like to stay, Mama, is the um, upside the Aiken side, upside. Opposite the Aiken side, um, is it the Easy Jet type fucking hotel? I can't remember. What's erratically, called. apparently I've been driving erratically, but I've not even driven the car. Trains getting cancelled. I'm talking about tomorrow, Kev. Oh, so that's funny. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Are we going to bullet up this? Yeah. Okay. Look, look, that guy's mixed race over there. Okay, he was driving the car. Okay. He was. Northeast Scotland. I love Edinburgh, man. I don't know if that's northeast. It probably isn't. I don't know. I love Edinburgh. One place I haven't been drinking up there, which I wish I could, is Glasgow. Driving the car. I've I've gigged up there years ago, but I haven't. It's negative. Point. You're on your way. Okay. But if it's positive, I haven't still haven't yeah, been driving the car. You're getting arrested. For what though? Drink driving. No, it. I mean, pff, I love this. I love that he's talking. That you're gonna get arrested no matter what, mate. You either provide a specimen of breath now or at the station under a warrant and then if you don't you're fucked. Um but, 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 I'm but, I ain't gonna travel up to Glasgow tomorrow, Jesus Christ. I'd have to travel back on the Monday. How old do you think? It's tempting. No. It's just it is tempting. How old do you think? I will do this test. Don't you like arrest me? I will do it. End up. He will arrest you. He will arrest you. Silly bastard. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So this isn't a section six rule. You can't say. Ha! The top comment. He didn't drive his car, but General G was with you, and he's been rushed to hospital. Section twenty-three under the Missions and Drugs Act. So you're going back to what is this section? I'm standing on the side of the road. 
Well, Mama, how are you saying you're going to come out drinking with me in Newcastle if you're in bloody near Glasgow? But I'm standing on the side of the road. Regardless, I'm going to Newcastle. Why would I be driving that vehicle? Yeah, but they can arrest you while they gather evidence and work out whether you were drinking, like whether you were driving it or not. Like, it doesn't matter. Fucking clown. Wait, breathe in or breathe Wait, suck out or suck in. What was with the tongue? Keep going. <clears throat> I'm just not used to blowing like that, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, wait, let me do I'm not trying to, no, I'm not trying to fuck around. He used to put Riz, as they call it, on people on lives, didn't he? He used to try and hit on people. I'm sorry. Weird. I'll blow it. Keep going, keep going, boss. But if he does that, if he does that and then, like, fucks it so many times, I'll arrest him for failing for specimen of breath. I can't remember what section that is. One continuous breath. I couldn't have blown into that anymore. Mama, I love, um... Oh, what the hell's a pub called in Edinburgh, I love? Uh, the Big Lebowskis and stuff like that. <laughs> well, I will be in Newcastle, Mama. Have you got me on Instagram? Sorry. Other people, feel free to join. I put my table number on Instagram. Let's see how that goes. It's a to piece sent over and all sorts of shit. No, no, I'm not, I promise you, I'm not making it Failing to provide, but you've just seen that I've blown into... There you go, failing to provide. And do you know what it is, right? I've got to say that is a dirty trick. <laughs> it is a good... Um, it's, it's sort of a dirty trick by the police as well. Um... Because they can just say that he failed to provide and that gives them a right to arrest because it's given them right to hold to then provide a sample and stuff. Um, <clears throat> nice, man. I've got no issue with that. Twice, so now I'm being arrested for something that I haven't done. So I'm not being arrested, even though I'm blown in. I appreciate you filming, but it's, it's actually... And to be fair, this is something that'll be questioned and then released. And he probably won't even be released on bail conditions, which is why when you fly to, you know, fuck off to Dubai, if that's the case, then he wouldn't have been stopped at the airport and stuff. What extracting now? Yeah. No reason. Can I just say, right, I love you guys who do clips but I don't need to see these sticker things that you shove on like they just piss me off <laughs> like this cunt with a steering wheel all right okay we get it if you want my advice which I mean you've got 41 like I would take the clip I would upload it then I would search for a trending sound I would put the trending sound and like you know put it right down then I would put maybe um, some words up here like, um, you know, fails to pass a breathalyzer or something like that. Maybe some words at the bottom and stuff like that or zoom into the screen. Um, don't be doing this sticky shit. You just <laughs> sticky shit. You just go to your head at stuff. Um, it is distracting. Um, but the people who do these sort of clips, like, I don't want to take it away from you. You guys are fucking awesome for raising awareness. But, like, when I do things like this and they do get bigger views, which I know we all want, let's face it, that works better than these stickers, it does. I was standing on the side of the road. These lovely women decided to arrest me. Do you like the feel of these biceps? Do you like, do you like the feel of... Yeah, you know, he's getting arrested now, so he's just trying a bit for the cameras. Bicep, not to be honest, really, no. nah, come on. Six years in the gym I've been. Nah, really like four. The Ivy, the Ivy's in Sunderland. I'm 20. Yeah. Four years in the gym. I'm going to Newcastle. Oh, no. 
Come on, darling, pretty good. Yeah. Check this one. I ain't got nothing on me apart from a nine inch. Nothing on me apart from a nine inch. Oh, fuck. I love that they've cut to this song. And they call me the general, popped up the Lambo beaming. It was worth it just for that. It was worth it just for that. It might take a girl because she's looking to edible crime. It's in a real cop, Jesus. That's funny. Oh, no. Jesus, I'm not sure what to say. The Revenge of Elphaba. <laughs> yes, amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm liking this shit, I need to do a reaction. Wow, no way, child. Christ. All right, baby roots. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, this is to do with the no contact coach. What well, is something you really want but can't afford? To murder someone? She, honestly, she's a fucking psycho, this one. Absolute psychopath. <laughs> You sons of a bitches. <laughs> Is that Brett and DJ? I say after I wake up, wake up. You guys are broke. Oh, God. You don't know nothing. My son's <clears> went to <throat> when they was about 10 years old. I thought you just said you don't know nothing. My son's reptilian. What? Well, they got brought up by the black, full black family. All right. Fuck me. I... <sighs> It's really hard, guys, because I look at my stream time and I'm like, I'm coming up two hours. And I just know I've got like three hours left. Three hours of this crap. And I'm like, you've got one bottle of beer left. Facts. And I'm like, do I just Uber eat more? And I'm like, no, no, I can't. I'm going to go out drinking Newcastle tomorrow, for example. I, I can't be. <sighs> Real roots, darling. They'd be brought with black... people so no one cares and my son's you know i like skills as anything but they've been brought up with full black people not even mixed race so you know know what time it is it's full black people so they're a bit my sons are different because they've been brought up with full black people so you know it's just um, they're what? very different they're more cultured okay. you know it's just how it is on them They've been brought up correctly, yeah, because who brought them up, my baby father's uncle, was a fucking absolute fucking legend, darling, and God bless, I love him so much. Guys, when it hits uh, two hours, which is coming up, I'm, I'm hitting my last beer, I've got to. And that's what you call the real man, and uh, I was so blessed. I hit beer and Uber Eats for three bottles of beer, it's mental. I mean, mm -hmm. No, like, I wanna, if I'm going to be out on the drink in Newcastle tomorrow, I want to be out, like, in the afternoon, you know? Late afternoon, like, 3, 4, on the quayside. What's the weather going to be like in Newcastle tomorrow? Let's find out. Let's find out, guys. Let's get fucking Google on. I'm planning my fucking day. Weather, Newcastle, quayside, tomorrow. I thought it was like, it's got to be pissing it down. No, it's going to be 11 degrees, so that's like fucking tropical weather. <laughs> that's like tropical weather in Newcastle. I'm fucking well up for it. Well up for it. Just, uh, you know, he um, was such a great guy. And all my baby father's family is black. He's the only light-skinned one. It, it just screams, you know, the argument like, I'm not racist, my best mate's cousin sister's roommate is black you know it just screams that excuse so he doesn't even have any white no mama no i mean kind of <laughs> kind of want it it's just how it is i don't know right fuck it how much is it gonna be how much is it going to be
Orders. Groceries. Fuck me. No, I'm not going to do I'm not going to fucking do it. I will not be pressured into this. Bloop. Let's keep going. Oi. Yay. Doggies. Oh, hi. More passion. More passion. More passion. More energy. More energy. More footwork. More footwork. More footwork. More passion. Oi. More go. Oi. More passion. More passion. More passion. More energy. More energy. More footwork. More footwork. They're adorable. More footwork. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like I say, I'm going to go out tomorrow. More energy. I'm going to enjoy myself. More energy. More energy. These are adorable. Easy now. Just cool now. Give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. More passion. More energy. More footwork. 2 p.m. What are you saying? Love that, yeah. Because tomorrow I'm just gonna be dead casual. I'm gonna walk up like the way from mine to the metro to the train station. There's like a few pubs, hit a few pubs on the way there. Get to Newcastle, grab a bit of food, go on the train. It's gonna be nice. This specimen, fucking cretin that he is. I'd love the in the voice, my friend. Right, my advice to you, TikTok. Uh, whatever FYP who follows me and I follow you as well um, use your hashtags in your videos my friend make them public be careful in certain wordings that you use and I think you'll really fucking hit it off man like your videos are great more people need to see it trying to meet up and arrange to meet up with a 9 year old girl wow 64 year old beast what the fuck I'm doing all these to spread a bit of awareness Good on you, mate. Obviously, hopefully these faces will be recognised in the future. The more you spread away... Whoa, who the fuck is this? Keep it up, man. Anybody who posts awareness contact on TikTok, um, please tag me in your videos. I will try and promote you as much as possible. Awareness, the more people become aware. That's what the word awareness means. Another one here. Trying to arrange activities with a child. Um, please, we're informed after receiving concerning things about your emails and that sort of stuff. What about this 69 year old piece of shit? Same again, downloading obscene content. Wow. From the internet and getting caught. Now, again, I'm doing these because I want to spread awareness. So every time you see these pictures, I can only hope that it gets a thousand views, and out of a thousand views, one person. Less the stickers, keep the mask and everything, that's cool. Use your hashtags and use trending sounds, you'll be good. You may recognise these pieces of shit. And before I sign off, I just want to say a big thank you to all the guys that go out hunting these pieces of shit. Yeah, because when they go to court, judges, as I said before, are all nonsense. They can relate to nonsense activity, nonsense behaviour, they can relate. So therefore, can we order, spend this a sentence? True. You go in there for a crime, a theft, or violence, or drugs, you're getting hammered because a judge true. doesn't like that. You're a fucking fretter. It's true. You fucking go behind your payments on your council tax. You're going to get a harsher sentence than a nonce. Society. But you know the real fretter society, don't you? The fucking judges. They're the fretter society. Not one of these people went to jail. I've just shown you. Nice. Nice awareness video. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Jesus. Can you show me your booty? Can I get a whisper? Oh, that's not a oh. whisper. Can I get a whisper? Oh. Good job. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Bang! Oh. <laughs> We've seen stings of drudges. Yeah, we have. Toad. Mila! Mila! Ziggler makes it back to his feet. Is he going to deliver speed? Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what a legend.
brilliant. <coughs> Fuck. Oh. <coughs> that finished me off, sorry. My See that right? Now. We're having soft oh, couples later. Oh, that's, that's adorable. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? I love animals, man. Paco, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, holy wow. shit. Oh shit. Alright, Sailor. Wheel from a garbage can. Oh, you can't have it. Sit down. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. More dog content, more animal content. Oh, bless! Oh. Up the cotton. Oh, bless. Loves the snow. Sounds like Alpha Bar, second. Hey, yeah, man, even gave me this goddamn dog for free. Wanna find out how to speak Spanish? Come here, Snack. Find out who speaks Spanish. Sit the tape. <laughs> Dama la mano. Dama la mano. Move. Gentle. Oh my god. Jesus. I ain't gonna lie, there's something awful about him, bro. He left the trail from here all the way back to the crib. <laughs> Are you trying to lie me, gang? You working with the odds? Are you working with the cops? <laughs> The dogs have turned up with a bear, I've only just realized this. The fuck? Right, okay, give me a second, guys. I love that you guys have got the pee cam going. Uh, I prefer dogs to humans any day. Me too. Me. 
fucking let's go <laughs> they did a, a come down with me thing didn't they Diadro is a beast, beast, beast. Yes. Diadro is a beast, beast, beast. Diadro is a beast, beast, beast. <laughs> Love it. Oh, class. It's weird, like they hated each other, but they're so funny together. Uh, DJ and Evil Queen. <laughs> Fucking hell. Zach is these bloody cosplayers, the Adro's ridiculous. Zach's best bits, yes. I am so handsome, I, I know. <laughs> Last love it. We'll have all that clap. Ask <laughs> I love Zach. A lot of them podcasts, to be fair. I reckon we'll get them on. What the fuck just is this? I want to quickly, really, really quickly, oh. because you you were a bit down and all that lot, I thought I've got to quickly... What is this? Nip on, say hello. Yeah. And, um, hold on. Where are we? How do we turn the old camera on here? Who is Spiffy? Oh, there we go. I found it. Oh, no. Is she getting trolled? Now I'm the king of... <laughs> the swingers, ooh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. <laughs> I'm the king of the swingers, ooh. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Jungle VIP. And be just like the other men. <laughs> that was brilliant. Well done, well done. I haven't, uh, to be fair, me and Zach talked, but I haven't pushed him on the podcast, but I'd like to see him on there. We have the mighty Christine. Hello. Why am I getting tagged in random Nick videos? Oh. I like Nick. And the beautiful Jackie. Don't even think about it. Oh. Sitting outside of Greg's. You did it. What are you going to do? Well, I'll fight you. Oh, it's all happening. We have. Fucking hell. I, I mean, thanks for that, guys, but let's move on. It's, let my tuna talk. Luke's reaction did it for me, right? Okay. Right, so there's no such thing as swinging on a swing apart from down in a park. So that's the first me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is it Claire? I, I have, I'm not, obviously, I'm here. Um, this conception, there's no, it's the same as going to a nightclub swing. and picking somebody up. Sex swing. No, it's not the same. Is it not, Luke? One second, guys. It's just me son asking me something. Shut up! No, listen. Guys. Perfectly. Listen, do you have to, like, uh, get money off every... There's definitely sexual swings. Um, did you go to stack back in the day? Well, in the, in the town, there's actually a stack in Sunderland, which is pretty decent as well, Sam. I never went to one in Newcastle. What do you swing with? Sorry? <laughs> to be fair, Luke's expressions are spot on here. Mute myself. <laughs> I'm trying to mute you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. The skin of shit. What's been going on with this racist... <laughs> You do a lot for them, yeah? One of the comments, did you see she put Babe Station on with the kids in the room last night? Jesus Christ. When you home, I don't know, when I get belly bounced there. <laughs> Sammy, why are you laughing? Your kids abuse me and then I get the blame. And don't worry, Jess, if you miss them, you can re-watch it tomorrow. Just forward till about... 
the one hour fifty mark, and you'll be you'll be caught up. Like watch up to that point. Be called the abused one. Your kids, your kids are horrible to me. Yesterday they were laughing at me, saying I have a square bar, bum. A sw- You've got a square head. I don't know about your ass. <laughs> You've got man shoulders as well. You've got man shoulders. Fucking hell, these kids are ruthless. Jesus. Got no. I don't know. Well, at least they Can I play this? Uh, Watch me get banned on here, but uh, like. I mean, let's face it, I'm not getting monetized for this live stream anyway. But if I go into my deep dive folder and I go to Skinner. Skinner! I don't know if I actually did that on here. Is the clip on here? Race religion folder. Nah, I haven't got it, have I? When she when she basically said the N word, which was absolutely insane. It's in a deep dive. It's in a deep dive. Like she's just very crap at combat No, she's too innocent. She's twelve. She said she was twelve. She said she was 12. Not the best quote to be doing. (laughs) She just fought. She literally just fought, right? That's that's worrying me when you, when you have a fart that you don't even know what's happening. Jesus. What? What's me go to spoons order? What do you mean drinks or do you mean food? <laughs> what are you? No, get out! You said I have man shoulders. I'll belly bounce you. No, I'll belly bounce you, I'll Seven. I'll belly bounce you. Keris. I'm not staring. Well, at least I changed my knickers. That's the only thing you ever say. And how do you know? Do you stare at me getting changed, do you? No, that's, that's weird. weird. That's weird. Exactly. That's weird. Exactly. Come on. No, yeah, fuck. Kiki. What are you looking at? I don't know, I don't label shit. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> you I actually need that. Should I have to... No, I don't. Yeah, that's been on the phone. Now. <laughs> Shut what, what would you like? A toothbrush? No, that's mine. You need to get gone. I had to brush my teeth, so these sweets are taking like. You want cetirazine hydrochloride? That'll... It's just weird, man. It's just weird, isn't it? <laughs> and that has beautiful hair, does she? I mean, I don't know. These are both the pieces. Mine's oh, got cheese. God, what the fuck is this? And it leaves hasn't, so they look oh, they look the same. Those have been in the microwave. Why do you guys do this to me? Why? I know you are. So oh, you put more sausages in there. That yeah, well, that is the end product of. Well, that's the end product. Right, as you... Those fucking beans, pasta and shit. <sighs> Why? You can see this is this... the end product. No, that's not a cheesecake. I have now made a, a mark in it. No. Now this pan was a bit cold. What the fuck cold. is that supposed to be? What the hell is that? It's a fried vomit. So, I'm going give it time to warm up. Vegan scrambled eggs. What the hell is it? Vomit. It can't be fucking. Right, I don't know if it's gone right or if it's put. Okay. Supposed to look like this. What's oh, that supposed to be? Run out of sauce. Don't worry. There we are. Done. And here is. The end product. I told you there weren't enough cheese on there. And that is the end product. What is this? 
This is horrible. No. As you can see, it looks done. The minced meat looks as though it's been browned. Lasagna? <laughs> Fucking lasagna? Whatever. <laughs> like, if you had me guess what that was, I would have never said lasagna. What the fuck? So I'm going to scoop some out and try it. Right, as you can see, it's done. So I'm going to cut a bit out for you. Oh. Really care. Stomach's hurting. Moussaka? Oh, got a bit of a Sorry, late. Good luck. No, I'm gone. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Else is funny, isn't it? It's great, Smart all of us together when it comes on. <laughs> okay, I'm all set, I'm set. That's it now, that's it now. I thought it was going to Does she? Glad you're loving it, you boy. Cockapoo! You ready? You guys have tagged me in some corkers today. <laughs> I'm hitting the beer in a second. The Adro is a beast, beast, beast. 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 Yes. There's a beast, beast, beast. Oh, class. The Adro is a beast, beast. The Adro is a I love that that's become a thing. I didn't think that, I mean, obviously, like, DG's um, done stuff about Diadro, but I didn't realise that Evil Queen was even involved in it all, which is brilliant. Uh, Case Cook and Deep Dive, who knows? Also, Keyside Spoons is good, all oh, weather. I do like the Keyside Spoons. That's probably one of the places I'll be at tomorrow. The final beer... Is out. <laughs> the fuck? I'm gonna talk to you in plain English. Who is this? Do you know to fix up the thermometer? The thermometer is on 66. <laughs> Do you know how to fix What the actual shit is going is that on? No. No good for you. It's going well, Jess. Thank you. I don't know either. Open the bottle of wine. What are you looking for? The twisting to open the bottle of wine. Did you see it? Twisting. Twisting! The fuck? You've done Hard Rock James. It's an amazing place on the quayside. No, I haven't, Sam. Actually, that might be a good place for me to go for food. I know somebody works there. There's someone who manages there as well. What then is going on with your eggs? Eggs? Ooh. Oh, God. Oof to you. Fucking hell. Ooh. I said oof to you. <laughs> I love this shit. This is kind of who I want to be as an old person, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What's Naf? For one, it's spelled cockapoo, and for two, they think she's great. It says money and they want gifts. All right. I'm going to talk to you in plain English. That was a Do good video, know? man. Thank you. Whoever tap Oh, I've got one of them, man. Oh, shit. I've got one of them. I just bought one the other day and I fucking love him. He's called Breach because he sucks. <laughs> I named my Hoover after Paul Breach. I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. Because <laughs> he just, he's a bottom feeder. He goes around and he fucking brushes shit into his mouth and eats it. Um, and he's brilliant. I love him. 
he'll be up at 3 a.m. today and he'll be doing the downstairs. He's a lovely guy, lovely guy. Shit the bed. Because <laughs> it got awful reviews, really. I'd only want to have a, something to eat snack wise, you know. You like the. Oh! oh bless them. Do you smell my drink? I like the hard rock. The weather spoons are right next to the hard rock as well. It's like weather spoons. The food isn't amazing, but you know what you're getting, right? <laughs> and that dog wasn't pissing about. Was he gone? The fuck? Oh my god! No, don't do that! Jesus Christ! Yeah. Off his tits. Dog just casually fell out the window. <clears throat> oh shit! <laughs> it's fucking chaos. The fuck? This is nice. That's the Fanny Buster three thousand. <laughs> oh, I so want to buy a water fountain. Like where you get like the fresh water, it moves around stuff for animals, yeah. I couldn't get one that worked outside that was cheap enough, but one for indoors when we move would be great for the rabbits. Not allowed on the bed, you... <coughs> no! You... <laughs> Yes, get them. That's, what a takedown. Oh, one of my friends has a Dalmatian and he's lovely. <laughs> Fucking hell, what the hell's going on there? <laughs> Jesus. Play dead. Oh, Labrador. They're so cute. Oh my god. Straight in the washing basket. You've had it. Okay, I wasn't expecting one to be in there. A lo que yo vine fue a esto. I am enjoying it. <laughs> they are right. <laughs> oh, straight up there. Okay, I don't hit that cat, that's brilliant. What the hell are you doing? Playing dead, like, no, you didn't catch me. Hey! Stop. Just in the pond. Oh my goodness, you alright? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, pal, are you okay? <laughs> I think that's enough water for you. Oh, look at this little cat. How adorable is this fucker? Oh, my God. He just won this fucking live stream. Oh, give me love, please. <gasps> oh, shit. Kitty. <laughs> give me love. Okay, I will. Fuck you. No. <laughs> <laughs> listen to Jurassic Park listen to me being a nerd and just hearing that sound and knowing the crack oh shit 
He was ready to risk his own life to save the children. Yes. Shit. Oh my god. Good boy. Oh no, I'd hate to say that. <laughs> Catch you later, Mama. I will be in Newcastle tomorrow. Jurassic Park, yes. Oh, bless him. He's looking! Here I had him. Oh, bless him! You would have been killed, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Random dog against two velociraptors. I'm sorry, Paul. Statistically, it ain't going to work out well for you, but I love your effort. Oh, down, buddy. You know, see, the problem is, look at him. That was brilliant, I love that. Oh, my fucking God. How adorable. What the fuck is this? Don't know what this is, obviously, but fucking this is an adorable bird. Apparently it's a rare bird and pretends to act like wood. And he's doing a great job. You're not even famous, darling. I'm more famous than I've you. I've done videos. I've done videos on uh, Paul Breach. Ben Hunt. So I went live on TikTok. Oh, um, it's a council estate queen. She used to follow me ages ago when I first started up. She's a lovely lady. Talk for a week to do the weekly rankings and I was gifted £10,000. I was actually gifted £20,000, but TikTok... Yeah, TikTok take that shit. Take her, but because I was... That's insane, man. Imagine cashing out ten grand. In, on the live side of TikTok now, it was quickly apparent that this is a seeded, naughty side of TikTok. Mm. It's not just gifting your favourite creator to put them on a leaderboard. These tic some of these TikTokers are manip. It's true. It's true. It's just fucking just so spot Manipulating, on. abusing, self-harming online, you know, lying, cheating, triggering all kinds of people. I think it's disgusting. 99% of the people that are live on the weekly ranking are solely for a paycheck. Some of them are really bad people. Abusers. 100%. So fucking spot on. On artists, narcissists, people that really need to go and get help and not come on the internet. Yeah, like, I think if you look at some of these... I don't know who's this podcast is, but this is brilliant. ...people on TikTok Live, what I've noticed is if you click on their accounts, mm. they have no character, there's no content, no. there's no videos. Because they just... Yes, right. Live streaming the only for videos, cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're they... hiding behind the fact that I'm a creator. No, you create a headache and an you overdraft. Create, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you create nothing. Like, like I've looked on your content, and the only videos you've. I remember ages ago, people asked me to do a deep dive on her, um, and I looked at her, and I was like, "What am I gonna do? What's the deep dive? There's no substance. She's done nothing. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do." Um, Jadra makes a couple of grand a day. I've said it before. Like, if I was to make like fucking thousands in a week or something. It would change my life. To these people, it's like it's their norm, and they want more, which is insane to me. Um, it's it's just nuts. 
uploaded was, hi guys, I'm going live in an yeah, hour, yeah, yeah. make sure you come over. Man. Whoa. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, what do you actually do? Yes. Why are people giving you money? Because they can sit on live and give the, the good, it's, it's, give the best story. It's to basically it. the futuristic way of begging. begging on, on you the might streets. as well be sat on the streets begging. I, or I used to say, at least when you're on the streets and, you, and someone asks you for a quid, they'll give you a magazine to, re to read. Yeah. Re to a turn. Yeah. You're not even. Yeah, I mean, that's true as well. Catch you later, Catalyst. You can always come back tomorrow and you can uh, catch up with the streams. Because if you go to... Um, I'll show you guys one second. <clears throat> Basically, if you go tomorrow and click live, you'll be able to re-watch it back. You'll be able to re-watch it back. Right, let's keep going. I don't give a goddamn how famous I am or whatever. It don't matter to me because I'm about dead anyway. So what I get? <laughs> I don't give a god. Look at these eyes. Damn, how famous I am or whatever. It don't matter to me because I'm about dead anyway. What a legend. The fuck is this? I don't Why that just skip? can take you anywhere you want to go okay can a road going one way take me somewhere else I don't know if the fuck is this so many people talk about this life and what they see The most of shit they talk about doesn't impress me I don't care about your drugs and all the dough you blow I don't care about the clothes and all them hoes you know Sometimes I... Meh <laughs> <laughs> Think about the stuff I see in front of me. Sometimes I wonder if we just live in old history. We'll probably never know the truth. It's just a mystery. Stay on this old road. You're f As a content creator, I'm often worried. When will my dist? <laughs> when will my diss track era begin? Do you, do you get to a certain stage as a content creator? And I'm like, nah, I need to drop a diss track. Like, I can sing, I can play instruments and shit, but I can't rap for shit. And I'm like, is there going to be a time? Is there going to be a time that I drop a diss track on someone? I often wonder. I often wonder. On your way to victory. Oh, God. Alpha Bar believes she got her karma as she doesn't get on the ranks. Gets 1p gifts and keeps losing every single battle. Right, oh, okay. I think. I've and she's got beef with Pearl. Pearl? Why is Pearl on Alpha Bar's radar? I, might, I think I've had my karma. I think I'm done now. I think I think it's ready just to leave me alone. Let me have my fucking life in peace, everyone. Yeah. And so she, a prick then? just let me live my life. And to stop sending this amount of hate and be like, oh, Elf has done this, Elf has done that, Elf has done this. Um, Using me as clickbait for yeah. views and stuff like that when I'm just a, literally a human being, 5'11". The thing is, if you weren't doing horrendous things, people like myself, commentary YouTubers, wouldn't have things to talk about. Like, you wouldn't be on people's radar if you didn't do horrendous things. So if you just disappeared, for example, you'd stop being talked about. That symbol. Twenty-year-old trans woman who literally just wants to exist. All oh, right, Artie Jen. Yeah. I don't support that. And these are like older people than me. Like we got power who's fucking sixty trying to call me a fake trans woman. She has no fucking. <laughs> I'm not. I'm sorry. My mum looks younger. Hey, you the thing is, when you're you're online, I'm not saying that. All of uh, people's opinions are right or are the right thing to say about people. But when you're online, you open yourself up to criticism and conversation, basically, you know? 
Like, I have, you know, there's people who talk about me, talk shit about me. I mean, yes, if you click on their profiles, you see they all are talking about way too feisty and backing her up and it's not a crew. But what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, like, as soon as you put yourself online, you open yourself up to criticism. Not everyone's going to like me, for for example. I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> I don't give a shit. The majority went the other way. If the majority were like, fuck freaks a cunt, I'd be like, all right, okay, I need to try and change. And if I was to try and change and everyone was still saying I was a cunt, I'd be like, right, okay, I've tried, I'm off, I'm out of here. But these people, <laughs> these people have the majority of people tell them the bell ends and they're still like, they're wrong. They're the wrong ones. Look at yourself. There's a reason why people dislike you. There's a reason. Do you know what I mean? I get it. Well, I've all the dust bags from Henry the Hoover. <laughs> uh -huh. all, I'm going is, all I'm going to say is, I, I don't respect Pearl at all, and I think it's really wrong. Okay, well, she doesn't have to respect you either. Of her to judge, yeah. um, and be transphobic. Like, yeah, if you want to be transphobic and admit to that, then that's on her. But if you want to talk about me... You could also try and educate somebody who you think is transphobic and have a conversation with them, rather than just labelling that because it will cause drama and interest. You know, you could be like, why does that person have that opinion? Can I have a, a, a reasonable conversation with that person? Do you know what I mean? Like, as far as I'm concerned, I won't miss gender alpha bar, you guys know that. She identifies as a certain gender, and that's fine with me, because I can still call her out for being in group chats with minors and sending sexually explicit voicemails. Do you know what I mean? That is worse to me than anything else. We don't need to have all that fucking debate. We just need to go, hey, didn't you have an infectious disease and go out clubbing? For example, do you know what I mean? Like, you don't even need to have that fucking debate to point out all the wrong shit. For clout, to get views, then that just says a lot about her. I mean, look at her following. She always she does. She'll be talking about you tomorrow again. She will. I'm 20. But Chelsea was, like, licking Pearl's arse out when they were being, like, judges on a singing competition. So, like, none of these people are loyal to any of the, each other. Do you know what I mean? They're just there for views and fucking money. Years old. I'm so, old enough to be a girl. That's what they told you. Miss Red, she that's talks about that. you constantly and hates on you because she knows you know that you're the most popular. That's why they hate on me. It's funny. We're quite similar. It's funny how they hate both of. Oh, Christ, give us a second.
Let's keep going. What piss break are we on now? Piss break five. Jesus. I feel like I'm running through them. I've, ju I've just had a look as well for uh, a hotel tomorrow night on the quayside. 47 quid. Was it 47 quid? I'll book it after the stream. Um... Forty-seven, forty-seven quid. Double bedroom with a window. I mean, who gives a shit about the window? Um, <clears throat> right on the quayside, cheaper than a taxi. I swear to God. Right. So this is no contact coach. Some shit that she's been posting, is it? Uh, so a young person under sixteen can royally f up and be arrested, charged, sentenced as a responsible for that crime. Yeah, but they would be charged and com and convicted as a child, not an adult. What the fuck? Uh, but apparently they are vulnerable children if they have S under 16. S under 16 is a crime. Why are they not saying it's criminal? What the shit? She posted this on Twitter in 2021. My God. This is insane. That's just the same thing. This is insane. It really pisses me off is creatures like Oh, this joker. Feisty's been sucking up her ass. She's been absolutely licking her ass all out for fucking weeks. Looking for people that I might have a slight problem with. I can have kids and then I struggle. Have you got enough stickers and emojis on this? Like I say, knock off the emojis. Add the hashtags in your description. Like, how the fuck is there any god or anything? There isn't, is there? Like, honestly. Maybe Let's just say it now. Windscreen, mate, you should have fucking landed on your head. Oh, That's Jesus. It. Lovely. Lovely. As we'd expect from her. Child, because then you wouldn't have brought all these fucking kids into the world and just dragged them up with no fucking love. Holy shit. I am good, Simon. Thank you. They are, aren't you, Jen? Bastards. And you don't deserve the oxygen that you fucking breathe. Well, yeah, it's two people who claim that they are the abused ones, etc., etc., aren't they? Which they aren't. At all. How long have I missed? We're at the 2 minutes 27 mark. 2 minutes, 2 hours 27 mark. So obviously just re-watch up until that point tomorrow, you'll be sorted. Honestly, like, they'd be better. Like, when she went through that windscreen as a fucking five-year-old, she should have been gone. Holy shit. As a five-year-old? She's an accident. You hoping a kid would be killed? Aren't you? Just like all your fucking brats, innit? Five. If she gets 14 years, man, she could end up dying in there, couldn't she? I mean, her dad died riddled with cancer. I can it. I can it. Sorry. Look at this fuck. Sorry, I'm just saying. You're vile, man. You're absolutely vile. I can it. Say what? I don't want. <laughs> God. Can't. Can't. We've had such a mixed bag of fucks tonight. Do we silly, but I'll show them respect when you come on my slap or when mum's done nothing wrong to you. I won't go with it for you. I lost my respect for you, darling. <laughs> you had respect for CLA. That was your fucking main problem there. I fancy a book in this room, guys. Should I book a room as well as going on the piss tomorrow? Should I really treat myself? What do you reckon? Ensuite bathroom, double room with a window. It's somewhere I've stayed before on the quayside. <clears throat> it's not for TikTok, Same. car, or nothing. Mum was my mum. I can argue with my mum all I want. I might say we had a few drinks, I'm sober. You know, mum was my mum. No one can call my mum to me. You know, I don't care who you are. You're famous, you're global, you know what I mean? I will, I'll book it, I'll book it. Kind of on the app. But you call him mum a slapper. I don't want a sorry off you I don't want no to do with you No sorry. Do it, should I? I should treat myself, shouldn't I? Take my Google AdSense. Thank you guys for watching me. And go and fucking treat myself for once, yeah? Your family friends been different, but you know one. You know, I'm a <laughs> top comment is that David Beckham. 
loyal person, I don't know I'm loyal. Fresh one more. It was just a ranky ass I a back. David Beckham's fell off, hasn't he? You know, but calling her a slapper, I don't give a shit you see a in your room saying you're global. Oh, he's, he's a douche. Whatever. It's my mum then today, darling. That's my mum. You know what I mean? I don't want to kill you. An idiot child. He's a rogan. Wait, what is he? The hell's this? Ah, <laughs> yes! The Blink reference. You are already a voice inside my head. I want that t-shirt. I want that t-shirt. I haven't moved yet, Hannah. I'm moving on Wednesday. I'm just sorting shit out. Rabbit stuff? Yes. Oh, no, this isn't this Chloe rescue, is it? A horrendous rescue thing. Before, it wasn't even a rescue. Like, it's just some fucking woman. Oh, God. It makes me so annoyed. That's so fucking... You've got to be so careful with rabbits because if rabbits are in a stressful situation... I want to make sure I'm 100% correct. Please double-check this shit. But I'm pretty sure that if rabbits are in a stressful situation, they'll eat their young. So if they, even if they 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 give birth to us, they're in a stressful and unhappy, unhappy situation, they can hurt their children. This was something called Chloe's rescue, and it was really bad. I'm gonna skip past this video only because I've been told that they've shut themselves down after awareness. But if I get an inclination that they are still running, I'll do a deep dive on these motherfuckers and blow them everywhere. Like, it is vile what they are doing. I can make you it facts. I'll insta you. What do you mean? Sorry, Chai? Have I missed something? I mean, rabbit none. I'm gonna. F oh, God. The fuck is this? Nothing other than photos, I'm afraid. Oh no, sorry, sorry, there was, I've, I've muted the audio. Oh, there is no audio. Oh, fucking brilliant. Oh, Rachel Skinner, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Hannah, I've heard that the, the rabbits have been taken from her to other rescues and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but... If I know that, um, if I know that that isn't the case, that that is some sort of bullshit, I will be blowing this up all over the place. There's a woman who rescues rabbits who's amazing, who's going to be on the podcast soon as well. Um, some people don't deserve animals, a hundred percent. The shirt. All right. Okay. Sorry. Um, oh, all right. Okay. Cool. Well, you just tell me, and I'll, I'll, I'll literally, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll pay for it. <coughs> it's all right, I'm to bed. Listen, I will turn the light off. Oh, 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 it's the way that the kids are all kicking off and the pot noodles. Now, here's the thing I have. The, the kids that are kicking off, they ain't her kids, so shut the fuck up. Like, can you imagine being in somebody's life and then disciplining their children or being involved in their children in that way? You are... Like, like my best mate, one of my best mates, Alex, right? You'll see I added one of the videos to my story on my TikTok recently. He's a musician. He's fucking beautiful. Um, do you know what? I don't know if I'll get copyright streamed, right? But I'm going to show you my friend's music video right now. Um, he's my best mate. I've known him for like fucking 10 plus years. Um, one second. And he's like, you know, like great Uncle Alex or Uncle Alex as we call him, right? And he loves the kids. The kids get on with him and everything like that, right? But if he was just to randomly start disciplining the kids, 
I lose my fucking shit. I'd be like, what the fuck you doing, dude? And and it would be weird for him as well. This is my mate's music video, and I'm going to whack his channel in the chat. Because remember, the fact freak doesn't have friends that are male. Because they're not all on social media. It doesn't mean I don't have other friends, you fucking idiots. Um, but I'm going to whack his channel in the chat. Please click on that link. Please give him a follow. Please give him a like. He's awesome. Let's listen to a little bit of his song. Like, if he just randomly started kicking off my kids, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? You're overstepping a boundary, you know? Um, enjoy it, guys. For the colour scheme, he was inspired by... Um, oh, fucking hell. What's he called? Blues guy who died. Nine Inch Nails did a song. Never mind. Come on, yes, mate. Hold up. Don't you know it's a hold up. It's always been the same. You know they take and take and take. Hold up. You best believe. If he was randomly starting to scold the kids, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You know what I mean? That's what I don't understand. What do you guys think? They don't even say stand and deliver. And if they could, they get their hands on your lukewarm cords. Sell you flip up into the name. Give him a thumbs up, man. He's on TikTok as well, like. because the fact freak doesn't have male friends but whatever Paul right look look at this shit right the guy from the goonies <laughs> never mind <laughs> I know what you think it's of guys me Wilson, <laughs> we asked a hundred people why do two thirds of voters feel the major parties don't represent them <laughs> Like, I've been in these videos. <laughs> We've been friends for fucking years. Owen Feisty, who's spreading the narrative that I don't have male friends. Like, that would be a diss on people anyway. Um, you were sharing pictures of my kids and sharing pictures of me and him together. <laughs> so, fucking educate yourself, you re absolute wronging. Oh, You're wrong. I love when the drugs take and kick take and take. Motherfucker will be claiming a copyright streak from me. Oh, he's brilliant, man. Have you guys seen me and him together like te like 14 years ago? I'm going to show you in a second. And then we'll get back to the YouTube stuff. Uh, the YouTube, the TikTok stuff, sorry. They don't even say stand and deliver. You know, before she was like, oh, it's just a TikTok friend, he's promoting music. I'll just show me and him playing together like 14 years ago, whatever. They get their hands on your lukewarm course, sell you flip up into the maze. So crooked, cruel, and psychopathic. Oh, it's not us together, Feisty. No, I don't have friends that are male, but like, what's this all about? <laughs> it's a bit awkward, isn't it? School, born, oh, to the game. 
It's like those desperate comments you see about yourself online. You're like, oh, really? Is that like... Because I'm kind of like, what would be the big issue anyway if I didn't have male friends? You know, like, it's just fucking... Weird. Desperation. Don't you know where it's a hold up. Let's listen to me and him when we were punks. When we were punk as fuck. Uh, Counterculture's my favourite. The reason I know how old this is, right, and if you look at it, uh, 2009, right, is because I had gone on paternity leave from the band before we went and supported the Buzzcocks, and it was because my younger son had been born. So this is fucking years ago, right? This is him, and this is me about fucking probably 10 stone lighter. <laughs> No bother, Kev. Enjoy your day tomorrow. But remember, I don't have male friends, though. You'll hear me sing as well, Panda, in a second. It's weird, man, because we wrote some of these songs while I was on a break from the band. So you'll see moments where I'm looking down and it's because we've got the lyrics written on a piece of paper on the floor with the chords. No, that's me. That's me. Oh, I've changed since 2009, motherfuckers. That's me right there. The drummer's golfy. He's like 40 years old or something. He was peddling. for you one day I, well there's clips of me playing on YouTube I do play now and again <laughs> and you'll say you don't blame me you hate me Live by my own rules. Yeah, man, we were decent back then. I mean, we played some great gigs, to be fair. We supported the Buzzcocks. You know what I mean? We've done lots of different things. <laughs> I can't stay still playing. I need to get back into it to be fair. Got nothing to prove. Things will choose to live by my own rules. I'm here and I'm free. Always be a freak. <laughs> Fuck freak, motherfucker. Got going away. This counterculture will stay. We're not playing your games. We're done for you. My favourite song was Police Brutality. Um, where's that? Yeah, yeah, Police Brutality. I'll put it to the breakdown and then we'll get back to the reactions. This is a proper fast punk song, this one. All about police brutality, obviously. Yeah, there were really nice dudes as well, Steve. They're on the beat. He 
used to be our favorite free. That's a good idea, Stephen. The breakdown, I love playing this. I love playing this live. Yeah, I mean, I think I was a little bit younger than that panda. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I went off onto a whole fucking rampage here. But the whole thing was, like, my best mate Alex, who was in those videos, and I've known for fucking years and years. Years, years. I wouldn't like to do the math. Like, when we are in those videos, like the earliest ones, we'd have still known each other for several years beforehand. Probably 2008 or so we've been friends from. I'm not 100%. Um, and he's like, you know, fucking Uncle Alex to my kids. They fucking love him. Like, my younger son is a big guitar player and stuff like that. And he's obviously a guitar player and stuff. They have a lot of vibe over that and stuff like that. But I couldn't imagine him turning around and giving my kids shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, and Rachel's in this position where she's with somebody who has kids and for some reason she's been shoved into like I don't know into a position where she feels like she has a right to be the disciplinarian uh, disciplinarian sorry over somebody's kids which is insane um when I was um when I was a dad you were talking about this Stephen when I was uh, first was a dad um like most people know my two kids my oldest kid, who's 17, is not biologically my son. And he knows, and we know, and we're fucking cool as fuck. Um, and I met his mother when he was 18 months old. And he chooses to live with me and i oh, fuck all to do with his mother. So that says, that's, <laughs> you know, that says that. We're not going to get into that. Um, but when I took on that responsibility... It sounds harsh. It sounds like a chore. I don't mean it like that. But when I took that on and his mum became pregnant with my youngest, people looked at me like I was insane, like I was a young parent who was mental to be a young parent. And I was like 21, coming up 22. And when you think about it nowadays, that, that young... <laughs> and no, res no disrespect thrown to younger parents... But it was hard, man. It was fucking hard, you know. Um, I was having a bad. I'd have loved your band. We did really well, man. We we did really good. Um, but that practice, um, it, 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 it it's called something HQ in Newcastle. That practice room shut down since then. But that was like we had three practices before we went on tour. Um, for like three dates, we did. Manchester, Manchester, Birmingham, and London, um, and I'd taken a paternity break <laughs> because we, uh, like, basically the youngest was just born, so that was our first practice back. And Golfy, our drummer, filmed it, and um, it remains in in infamy. Some of those songs were like written between me and the the guitarist Alex. When we met it while um while I was on that break. So he'd written it and he'd come up with those lyrics and he was like, James, you'd be great singing that bit and it's just me slamming it on the floor and giving it my best shot and it was recorded. And it was good good practice. Good practice. Um Yeah. Oh shit. What have I pressed? I've lost it. Give me a second. I'll I'll get us back where we were. I'm just realizing how how many videos we probably still have to go tonight, and we're only on the nearly the three hour mark. It's all good. We'll watch them all. We always do. Um, Sobriety Jack did the loo. Here we go. I just don't understand. Like, if. 
and loves to do musical theatre. I've been in uh, musical theatre plays. I was Fagan. Uh, I was Charlie Cowell in The Music Man. Um, lots of different things. I can show you lots of it. Like, at some point, I've got, like, paychecks from the BBC where you've got the old square logos and shit. I'll just show that. I've done lots of stuff like that. Just go for it, Sam. <laughs> Listen, I will turn I the know, I one, but, um, Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Like, why is Rachel getting involved with the disciplinarian shit of these kids? That's what I was getting at. I'm telling you, I'm giving you two now, Two warnings, I'll turn the Wi-Fi off and then we know I have. No, it's bedtime. You're no, showing off. No, no. Oh, brilliant, Sam. That is a great show. It's been done in film form a few times as well, isn't it? No, no. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. What? Oh. Yeah, it's hot in here. I can't help it. I'll t the heating is off. Mm. This is weird, man. Right, now you're being silly if I don't, like, forget anything. Well, yeah, they are being silly, right? Now I can see we're on half term. We're on to... Sometimes as parents, you've got to pick your fucking battles, if I'm going to be honest with you, right? And your kids want to be up and hyperactive because you're up, basically. So they're like, the fuck should I be asleep? You kind of... Be... Maybe I'm a soft sack, but you kind of got to be like, right, OK, I get it. As long as these are not kicking off and you're not causing an issue or whatever, you want to be on your fucking TVs or whatever, you don't have school the next day, you don't have whatever, you know, just enjoy yourselves, that's having it. You know, am I a soft gun for that? I don't know. But I'd just be like, you don't need to be like a disciplinarian all the fucking time. Um, you know? Um, it is weird that Rachel's got, like I'm saying, like that That would be the complete opposite. If my mate started throwing his weight around with my kids, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, after a week of dating, fuck me. Yeah. That's Wait, what, Sleep! Oh, really, Sam? I'm checking in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me that's a bit triggered about the dials on the cooker? Like, why are they all turned at weird angles if they're all supposed to be off? The fuck is going on there? I'm checking in ten minutes, girls. You better be asleep. What time are we getting the train? Right, let's not discuss that now whilst I'm on a live. Because uh, people are uh, psycho. Maybe you should have ended your live to do whatever, you know? Like... So what a bad train. house, yeah. Now nah, they do something stupid, like ring the train line and say I've got like a BOMB. So wait a minute, right, okay. I'm just going to just, just dissect this shit. You've just pulled out a Burger King. The kids are kicking off and don't want to sleep. Have they got a Burger King? Or is it just you've had a Burger King delivered? Maybe not just, maybe it's just for you. But you've got to deliver and the kids are like, I want to get a bit of Burger King. Why am I not getting Burger King? Why am I getting shooed off to bed? You know, like you just look at the situation and you think, is there more of this? What are the kids thinking? They are kids at the end of the day, you know? Um, pop noodles on the That's bench, yeah. That's how psycho people are. It's happened before. I got kicked out of a hotel because someone rang the hotel and said I had a BOMB. A BOMB. They wouldn't just kick you out for that. I'm sorry, when some of these TikTokers say crap like this, like anybody could ring and say that sort of thing, you know, like it's just ridiculous. Um Yeah, so I'm right, okay. It's ridiculous. Is it? Me and Mum ain't gonna eat all these. It's like feeding time at the fucking zoo, isn't it? They're a bit dry. Mm -hmm. The knobs are insane, aren't they? Which is not a sentence I thought I'd be saying, to be honest, but. <laughs> Fuck.
fuck off. Prepare to laugh hard. I don't know if I can because I'll probably piss myself, so you know.
Boom, I'm back. So, it said, prepare to laugh hard, so I had to take a moment, had to make sure I wasn't going to piss myself. Um, <laughs> let's go. Dear Chelsea, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, TikTok. Happy birthday, TikTok. This is the saddest fucking thing I've ever seen. Happy birthday, TikTok. Happy birthday to me. So it's now my fourth year on TikTok as a TikToker. And I just wanted to have a little party with you. It's all kicking off on Angie's. I've got to stick to these videos. You guys, where you all come together and join my birthday celebration with me. God, this so is tragic. So I have here my birthday cake. Um, absolutely. One second, guys. Happy birthday to Chelsea. Happy birthday. God, this is tragic. Birthday to Chelsea. Happy four years on TikTok. Wait a minute, she's celebrating when she signed up on TikTok. I thought it was her actual birthday. Happy birthday. It's even, that's even more tragic. Day to yeah, is it just a way to get gifts? Thank you, thank you, everyone. It's been such a pleasure. Alexa, continue the music. Uh, such a, such a pleasure. Woo, Alexa. Oh, that was tragic. That was so tragic. Chicken! The fuck? Are you all right? <laughs> she does have a chicken, chicken! Oh, Jesus Christ, not, not again. Oh. Chelsea, get off camera, quick. What's happening here? <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Welcome to Memory Trivia Match. I'm your host, James Carner. Our game show asked our competing contestants a set of questions. Huh? And if they answer them correctly, we will stop gifting for 10 seconds, allowing time for the challenger to catch up on points. However, if they answer incorrectly, then vice versa. This is literally a game show. And I want to welcome our first guest to the show, Tyrone. Tyrone, come on down. Hey, there he is. Big problem, big problem. What's going on, Tyrone? I'm great. I'm great. I'm feel free to be here in America. Good, good. And our second guest is Roots Darling. Welcome, Roots Darling. What the fuck is this? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Memory Trivia Match. As you know, we're going to ask you. I can't do this. A few questions, and you have 30 seconds to answer, and we will see who will win the game between the two. It is memory trivia match between both friends live on TikTok. Who is All this right. guy? He's a proper game show fucker, isn't he? 30 Why? seconds drop the board. Here, here is your first question. <laughs> All right. The San uh -oh. Blas Islands are part of which Central American nation? You have 30 seconds. Go. Los Angeles. No. Oh. North America. No. Florida. No. South America. She's just going to guess places in America because he has. America. No. Florida. This no, the San Blas Islands are part of which Central American nation? California. No, it's further down. Texas. Even further down. <laughs> no idea. Oh, and you can't you go how you want. No, 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 sorry, it's Panama. <laughs> Panama, yeah, those are where those islands are. I've located. never heard of it in my life. I haven't either. Never heard That's of all right. Panama. No one got the point. It's zero zero, and we're moving on. All right, thirty seconds up on the board, guys. In which country would you find the mouths of the Amazon <laughs> River? In which which country would you find the mouths of the Amazon River? You have thirty <laughs> seconds. Go. 
Oh, God. Woo! I don't know. Peru? No. Brazil! Close. Yes, it is Brazil. That is correct. Boom. Well done, Tyrone. Yes. Great job, Tyrone. 1-0. One zero. I need to meet how you're losing me. All right. I can't see Chelsea winning this. We're at 1-0, and, and next question, 30 seconds up on the board, here you go. How many years is a copyright protection granted <laughs> in the United States to an author after their death? You have 30 seconds. Author? Oh, I don't know Seconds. This one. I'm not about musicians, but I don't know. What do you? Can you repeat the question, man? Seven years. 30 seconds. No, it's not seven years. years. More than that. 25. Way more than that. 50. 100. Less than that. 70. 70. Yeah, 70 years. Wait, oh, no! I got that! Who got it first? Who got it first? I'll say, since you both... Who said it first? They answered it correct. That, that negates the answer, so it's still one to zero. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. That's ruthless. You both guessed it, so nobody gets the point. What the f- okay. Great job, guys. All right, here it is. 30 seconds up on the board. Here's your next question. What collectively named one, one. languages evolved from vulgar Latin? You have 30 seconds. Go. Can you repeat again? Repeat, repeat. Please, repeat. Shit, you ain't gonna repeat. Italian. That's Rome. one of them. That's one of them. That's one of them. Roman. Yep, Latin. Romanian, Italian. Latin. I'm, uh, I said pretty, that already. Pretty close. Pretty close. A Spanish. Yes, yeah, Spanish. Okay, all you need is two more. Nice. Russian. Spanish. No. Greek. No. Chinese. No. no. Portuguese. Po yes, Portuguese. You need one more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. French. French. And it is French. Yes, that is correct. We that said it the same time. is Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, and Romanian. Since you both were answering them, that means you both get the point. It is two to two. Oh, two to two. All right. 30 seconds up on the board, guys. Here is your next question. <laughs> That's what we're all waiting for, isn't it? When Chelsea loses and has a meltdown. Pardon me, sorry. <laughs> what does barley become when prepared for brewing? Soup. Beer? 30 seconds. Nope, not soup. Yes. Fruit and barley. Oh, beer, beer, beer. Yes, but what is it called? It barley becomes Weast. something. Yeast? Whoa. What does it become? Wheat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, it is a yeah. malt. Yeah. Uh, malt. Brown uh, got it. That's so three to two. Oh, the what? The hot. Three I got it. to I got two. It. Malt. Yes, Tyrone, I was made you win that. No, we're against each other. We're beef. We're beefing. Hey, 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 hey. Contestants don't fight on this show, okay? Contestants don't <sighs> fight, right? We oh. have an audience. Well, they definitely do. To think of your children yes. watching this. Yeah. All, All right, here's your next question, guys. Which Apollo space station put the first men on the moon? Yeah. Apollo 14? Apollo 14? You have 30 seconds. Go. Apollo 13 is where it went nuts and they had to get back home, isn't it? Um, 13. Nope, not no, 13. Not 13. But, uh, NASA. NASA. Nope, but you were you were. Well, that's the company. You're right when it comes a number. Was right but it 14. wasn't thirteen. NASA. Apollo what? Apollo thirteen. Nineteen. Eleven. Uh, Apollo eleven. That's correct. You got it. Yes. Hey. Yes. Oh, Tyrone's mad. <laughs> Fucking water everywhere. Really? I got that All right, wrong. guys. Yeah, it's tied four to four. Tied four to four. Who could win the game? Anybody knows. Last question. Tiebreaker. Huh? 30 seconds are up on the board. Here is your next question. You just try to drink all the Which water. Which U.S. state's two-letter postal abbreviation is M-D? M-D. Oh, Manhattan. 30 um, seconds. No. Maldives. Are you for real, Tyro? No, 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 no. Oh, what's he called? Um, 
Um, they literally had a bridge. Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Yes. Michigan. Ooh, it is Maryland. That's correct. And guess what, guys? It looks like Tyrone won the game. Tyrone, you special, special man. You are so special. All right, speech, speech. She isn't having a meltdown. I'm surprised. Uh, thank God for this opportunity. I'm very grateful. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you for Chelsea for being the loser of the show. I'm very grateful. Thank you for being on the show. Well, guys, that is it. That was the battle between Tyrone and Roots Darling, and it was a very close call. Literally five to four. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. I'm, I'm a bit annoyed that we watched seven minutes of this, hoping to fuck that Chelsea would lose her shit, and she didn't. I, I, can't, I can't say that I'm happy about the outcome, if I'm honest with you. I can't. I can't see it. It's time for a can of Diet Coke. Why am I whispering? I don't know what's a secret. Let people know I'm getting the Diet Coke. There we go. Right. Let's keep going. I've just put my day. Oh, God. More it's depressing than very... this shit. <laughs> Is this edible? Was that cake a soap? I don't know what it was. I like don't like this high contrast, Chelsea, the art. We don't need to see it. We're in the bin, sweetheart. Oh, I mean, the thing was so hard, man. It's solid as a rock. Oh, but I, I think it might have been a candle. Okay. Yeah, I think it was a candle. But I thought it was a birthday cake. And this is a birthday cake that's gone stale inside rock hard. I mean, if you threw that at someone, I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Indeed. Oh, young blood! Probably going to do it again, am I? Britain's. Oh, has he got in for Britain's Got Talent again? I hope he does the send song. That should do really well for him. I hope it does. I don't know if this is Got Talent. Here I come. This year, I am going to do everything possible to make my dream a reality. I hope he does really well. I, I think he's the stuff. The, the send song obviously hit me like it would a lot of send parents. And he did really well with that, so I hope it goes somewhere. Good on you, young blood. Oh! This goes out to... At Yorkshire Predator Hunters and Cobra UK. Brilliant teams, I'm in communication with both. They're fucking nice. Uh, please let the hunting teams do what they do to protect children. Alright, Gary. What we're saying? Uh, to all of the people um, who are trying to do good, trying to protect children uh, and trying to keep people safe, vulnerable people safe on the app, please. The hunting teams are there for a reason. They, 95% of them are very experienced, uh, very well versed in the law. They know what they're doing and they do it Agree. well. Please Pardon let me. them do their part in this raising awareness is great absolutely great and I applaud every single one of you that are doing that but don't try and take that into the hunting team's arena because it will end in a cock up and we don't want that, none of us want that um, I mean he's right but I don't know what the relevance is I don't know why he's talking about this the app. We want vulnerable people and children protected on the app. Um, we don't want to be giving these people... Are people trying to run stings from TikTok? I don't know get what's going on. When the inevitable happens and mm, they get caught. Yeah. And they get caught the right way. Yeah, you've got to be watertight. You've got to be watertight. With, it. with the right evidence to back up um, any allegations that are made. Please, let's do it properly. Please. I agree, I agree. They lock me ah, up. They joy. Wanna let Let's go. Let me out. <laughs> lock me up. They want to let me out. And she got arrested. I was banging. Let me out. Carry on banging. And you might just get freed. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, God, yeah, I saw this shit. Yeah, 
You know, he played you all, kind of. So there's now a oh. whole swathe of uh, Scotland based oh, this is to mods. Do, do with Diadro's mods or something. All uh, complaining. Um, you know, one of them's in debt to for, 214 grand. <clears throat> what do you expect? 14 grand? 14,000? You know, it's mental as well. Like, if you want to support a creator and send them 14 grand, not that I'm saying anybody fucking should. But if you send it through TikTok gifts, that creator's getting less than half of that anyway. Like, it's insane. They all now seem to have seen the light and um, have realised. Um, is anyone else thinking. Unlucky. You backed him. Ah! You supported him. I mean, yeah. You took part in conversations in his Discord that, quite frankly, were disgraceful. You know, you were part of the gifting ring that kept him and his box battles, you know, in that position. At number one. Gary's right here. Yeah. I don't disagree. One, for so long. Despite the fact that, you know, you know this guy uh, appears on Claire's Law for those that can. Um, access it. You know that this guy, happily to admit that he exchanged messages with a, a mid-teenage girl. You know this guy's court cases. Mid's fucking generous. She was 16. Are coming up. Pardon me, sorry. And you carried on defending him. You carried on enabling. Many of them still are doing. You were the ones that were commenting on videos, reporting videos People who were speaking out against him, against his behaviour. He's not wrong. Yeah. And you're the ones that were encouraging each other to carry on gifting. Gift, 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 gift. You know, Diadro is king, he's got to be number one, etc, etc. So, pardon me if I don't feel a great deal of sympathy for any of you. Um, and that's not like me. I, I speak out readily for the vulnerable and every single one of you is vulnerable mm. uh, yeah it's a confliction isn't it I get that anybody anybody man woman that can defend and actively enable someone like the Scotland Beast is clearly vulnerable in some way or other True. but I'm not feeling a great deal of pity for you people and it wouldn't surprise me if many of you continue to appear in box battles elsewhere, you know. Yeah, yeah, Gary's probably you know, right. Attempting to take money from other vulnerable people. It is a paddy. Because the bottom line is this. Money over morals. And that doesn't change about any of you. That remains the same. That's because right. that's the kind of people that's you right. are. Foolish enough to get involved in it stubborn enough to enable it and defend it and play the victim me. card now you're not victims you victimized others so i'm not buying the shit i'm not buying it at all if you've defended if you've enabled if you've taken part in those conversations in the discord groups various discord groups they're horrible as well. That have mocked dead people. Mm -hmm. The children of dead people. Then you're as bad as him. And quite frankly, you don't deserve any sympathy whatsoever. At the end of the day, what Gary said is, you lay down with the dog, you get fleas, isn't it? Isn't that the same? Oh, what's going Are you on? babies? Uh -huh. Are you the babies? Mm -hmm. Are you a precious babies? Mm -hmm. Are you a pretty baby? Mm -hmm. Are you my babies? <laughs> Say I mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. daddy. Mm -hmm. Love that. Are you babies? Love that. <laughs> the fuck it. <laughs> oh, no, See ya. Oh, she's Goodness. had it. Game over. She's in Jesus. She got dunked worse. The fuck is going on? What the hell went on there? 
Oh Christ. What's going on? Everything's leaking. The fuck? No sound on this. <gasps> What's happening there? Jesus Christ. T Demon? Stop. No. Jesus Christ! Do <laughs> not literally have Jesus. Is that an edit? The fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, is this the same fucking. I know it's a sausage shark, isn't it? Fuck. I had a gift and addiction, but I removed myself from being DJ's mod and I stood back and now I can see how pointless it is. Good, Jess. Good. Good. I like I, it. It The way that it's done, where it's like gifting and things like that, and, you know, you can put on your phone bill and you can do different things, it makes it like almost as though it isn't money, isn't it? Like, it's weird. I've been there, not maybe to the extreme of some people, but I understand it. When I got gifted, and when I get gifted on TikTok, I usually like trade it into gifts and then gift it out to other people. I, I rarely spend my own money. I do, but I, I rarely, you know. This guy's a legend, this little fucker. Oh, I've only just seen it. 15 year old dog plays his last in race, but wins the crowd. I've only just seen the fucking caption. It's beautiful. Seeing your dog waits for a friend every morning. Oh. Lucky are we that we coexist with animals, man. Animals are amazing. Compared to humans, let's face it. Oh. <sighs> Keep going. What's the advice you give to your younger self? It's been least time with Dickie. I got wrapped into that. I was like, yeah, what motherfucker? Like, it's dickheads. <laughs> I mean, thank you, Simon, for your interpretation. Andy, what don't you understand about why he's so just. Last time with dickheads. I was absolutely blown away. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were about to blow me away. I thought maybe it was going to be really honest. Like, don't believe the bullshit. Yeah. And you know what? The next sentence made sense. They waste a lot of your time. <laughs> What's the advice you give to your younger self? Brilliant. I love that. The fuck? Puss in boots. It's in boots. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the whole joke? I, I love this. Um, I think that name was down the street, so, um, but he comes in all of the shops. So he literally will choose a shop. And... He comes in all the shops and he will literally choose a shop and just chill. Is that okay. what people say? <laughs> I love this cat. Yes. Guys, if you've seen the deep dive tonight, if you've seen the deep dive tonight and the rapping predator, here comes how just absolutely destroying that predator. MZ, no job, no car, no kids, no wife, can't rap, drugs, kids, grapes, some low life. You act like rape only describes a Viking on a pillage. Whenever we know you're around here is Peter Wolf the village. Already susceptible, she was only 16. Yes. If only she was at youth club instead of you, you fucking thing. Between you and your brother, I don't know who's fucking worse. Do you measure by the crime or who was touching kids first? You slobber on the internet, wondering why nobody fucking likes you. Do you know your man, MZ? I heard he fucking spikes you and you won't know what happened after because he won't fucking tell you. Then he'll blame your man court for trying to fucking protect you. I don't know his girlfriend enough to fucking and rap about her but she's got kids that she's handed over social fucking services because she's pecked him over them true give us a second guys i'll be right back Is it clear 
fuck is seven the record <laughs> is seven the record i think i've had enough today isn't it? jesus christ blue heart to be bladder indeed Listen, if I can do what I just done with all five of my children. This is bill condition, says she isn't allowed on TikTok. So she's fled to Wales pretending she's abroad, going to jail for TikTok, and you've got five kids, it's crazy. I have no fucking clue what this is. Who the fuck are you? It's shown a lot of how strong I really am. You know that. Strong as your fake eyelashes? Yes. Do my bowel condition still stand <laughs> while I'm here? It like, sounds like she said bowel conditions. Not in the UK. Yes, of course it does, you silly bitch. <laughs> this woman is mad. I don't even know who this is. Because okay. obviously I'm bound by a different law. Is she all right? I don't know who the fuck this is, but this is nuts. No, I'm 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 abroad. I'm not in Wales. Yeah, you're in Wales, motherfucker. Oh my god! Here, should have got this whole of this whoa. They're playing my chemical romance, Nicole. You know I'm scared of emos. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What's this? Another boy. This cretin goes live and has underage kids in his boxes. Nine and ten year olds. Fucking hell. They shouldn't be on the app as well. So they should hopefully be reported to get their accounts taken away too. It's also gift to them and put up treasure chests so they can gift coins back. This is the end of the video where he tells one of the boys who will call them. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm I gifted in, in about 20 coins. Yeah. Uh, those just give me 467. Your yeah. cousin has given me 48. Who tagged me in this shit? Send me more. I will do a video on this fuck. Ali, 28. Riley, 16. And then there's other people, but they're not here now. Alex. Yeah? The fuck. Oh, wait. Hold up. Oh, sh shiver my timbers. Shiver my timbers. <laughs> oh, shiver my timbers. Oh, scary. The hell is going on? No, people are just coming live though to get treasure boxes and that's all bad. Hmm. No, me, me, I do try and get the treasure boxes. You've got no reason to be talking to kids, man. You did make no fucking reason. If I do need the coins, then yeah, I'll come in, but I'll, I'll wait. I don't know why it's not letting me talk. Hey, it's my mate. It's my We love you. You love you, yeah, now. Nah? Love you. Love Alex. You. Is it kids? Uh, I can't stay on it too long though. It drives me mental if I stay. Can't me? No, I was diamond free. Yeah, you was, wasn't you? But I'm gonna but get off now, guys. Look, um, Alice, no, thanks for the guest, Boji. Thanks yeah. for the guest, and I'll ring you now, right? Okay. I'll add that Riley to the group. Yeah, Riley. To the group. Right. Right. Thanks, Alice. Who the fuck's this prick? People send me info, please. I have you tomorrow. The actual shit. DHB, give up the gift out. Is that actually DHB? Give up the gift day. Run, run. That actually kind of looked like DHB. Is that DHB? It kind of does look like DHB. That is DHB in it. I'm sorry, dude. Like I like some of the things DHB does, but I don't think I could walk past Kevin and be like. Fuck freak sense, give up the gift in. Like, I just, nah, sorry. It's just weird. Hey, give up the gift in. If anything, I wouldn't have walked. I just realised these fucking kids on the street. Like, I wouldn't have walked past my kid, past the live stream, for example, but whatever. 
right oh this guy again along on a bank holiday now yesterday i went for a coffee i gave my order and the barista said large black americano and i said correct just like i like my men oh and then there was a tap on my shoulder and it was this african gentleman and he went and hot i went that's a correct fuck off <laughs> i love it the fuck is this? What's going on? <laughs> the fuck is happening? <laughs> right, okay. Let's move on, I suppose. Sorry, sorry. Is that is that actually on Netflix? Is this bullshit? What the fuck? I love a good documentary, right? But there's absolutely no fucking danger. I'm gonna watch that. Absolutely no. Soviet pathologist examining Hitler's burnt remains at the end of World War Two stated that one testicle couldn't be found. Where'd it go? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Sorry guys, that was the best clip I've seen the night. What the fuck is this? I love a good documentary, right? But there's absolutely no <laughs> fucking danger. I'm gonna watch that. Absolutely no. And then boom. Just examining Hitler's burnt remains at the end of World War Two stated that one testicle couldn't be found. Where'd it go? <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> I fucking love it. Titanic is sinking, but I grabbed a plate of food from the all-inclusive before getting on a lifeboat for myself. Uh, there's no way in hell people in Titanic could have ever imagined they'd end up as a meme fucking more than 100 years later. Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Funny boy. <laughs> oh, this is your favourite. Love it. Love it. Best names I've seen working in pet insurance. Or oh, for animals. Puff Puff Little Boy. Canada Dry. Hostage. Party Poison. Bouncy Castle. Fat Patricia. <laughs> Fat Patricia. <laughs> Speed Bump. Paragraph Pete, what the fuck? Play it. Secret. True Harry Moore, skin mark. What the fuck? That's brilliant. You are, you are, shy. Oh my god. I like this song. Cause you are. Cause you're gonna shine. Like the star that you are. Good God, please. Please, no. And no struggles. Stop, though. And no struggles, darling. And no struggles. Fucking send a prayer to the people who make these edits. Oh. The name Jesus. Get up, Darling, we'll have all the affected bitches in the place. Absolute. Okay. Horrifying. Oh. What's. R oh, shit, what's this? I'm 
Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Well, I'll send someone there to do it, regardless of it being my daughter, the nasty boy, of course. You don't hear it from me. One more fucking... Remember, he's a lovely Christian lad. ...thing, and I'll put that in, I've got the fucking head, I'll smash her red traffic at me, and knock her teeth back on, on my mum's life. I'll destroy her, man. I'll fucking kill her. Tell her any more that shit, and I'll come straight down that yard, and my mother's like, I've had enough of you, in my life. I will fucking kill that girl. Move her from me to me, I know what she's up to, I know it's her, she's a boy of... That's fucking horrible. Is Angie playing that? Because Angie, you know, looks genuinely devastated. I think she thought Rickster was nice, you know? Fuck. Any more, I'm going to fucking end her. All right. And she even come on there as Kira. Right. On my fucking, um, my, my, my profile with a fake name and then change the name back to fucking Kira and then message me so she could message me so your mum messaged me. Was this about somebody else? Isn't his daughter really young? I, I don't know what this is. I only accept people. I never accepted her. So she had a fucking bank account. The horrible fucking cunt. And my mum's life now. My mother's not. I swear I'm little Larry Anderson. I would fucking... People are saying it's about his daughter, but I don't know. Killer, I'm Either way, it's horrible. And my mum's like, I'm killer, you know. I'm not joking, man. You want it from me, any more fucking shit, any more nasty violence, I'm just charging on my page, I know it's her, I'm gonna fucking kill her, and I'm a mum's not. He said, regardless if it's me or daughter. Oh, from no word of a lie, I will do it. Bad, man. I'm oh, fucking, I swear, like, I'm lasting in my water's feet. He's talking about his daughter. Yeah, me. I want an address for it, brother, man. It's getting little, lonely. <laughs> Just for the comments that his daughter is talking about. Jesus. Fuck, that's horrible. No, I think that was horrible. That's about his ex. Adrian, Dave and Matt had to talk about last night. I don't even know who these people are apart from Dave. That's, that's our staff member, to be fair, at who they've got, because I need to have a look at the video. That wasn't him. It was a skinny geezer with a carry bag that looked like a crackhead that was selling a bit of meat. A bit what? Of meat. <laughs> you know the what fuck? I'm saying now, AJ? You was at the door or summer and he was at the door. Yeah, I think it probably would have been him, wouldn't it? Oh no, I don't know. I don't know. I, I listen. I've literally you know just watched a lot of videos and everything. Where did Emma's mum go? Where did Emma's mum go? I don't know what this yeah. is about. Uh, did she manage to calm Em's down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We all oh, ended up having a pizza as well, so she ate some food. Oh, that was all right then. Right, did you have any more twos, or was that like... I don't, uh, what she ever does is ask for two. I know, do you know what, Alex? Can you make me a fag? Fucking hell, Jesus take a piss, Christ. man. I don't know what this Alex. is. I'm sorry whoever right, tagged okay. me in this. I don't know what the relevance is, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to forward it, because I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um... I have no idea. Fanta, I want to know what oh happens Christ. to Reggie, man. Stop telling him to not say. Give the phone what to him. I want to know what happened to him. Stop taking the phone, man. Sorry, she was crying. God, this is so loud, the music. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, what? so what happened, Emma, with you and Barker? Yeah. Emma, Emma, look at me. Oh, for fuck's sake, Emma. I've got no idea what's happening. Emma, listen. Em, get a taxi. She's just in a fucking state, isn't she? Get some water. I don't want to see you like this. Ignore me. They don't give a shit. Fuck off. Do they you know, you know. Oh God, here we go. Oh, you uh, did. No, it's, it's radio, darling. It's radio. We got request. So I wasn't even here right. the other day. What the fucking fuck? She drinks all day, doesn't she? Fucking all her content is just her being drunk. Like, and people enable it by sending the money. You paying for her drinks, and I'm supposed to feel sorry for her. I don't. I don't know. Marcus! <laughs> the fucking Marcus! No, sorry, Thursday. Wednesday, 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 Thursday. You took snowflake emoji Wednesday, Thursday. I'd imagine watching back clips of yourself and saying this, man. 
<sighs> you took Snowflake. I can assure you that right now, you took fucking Snowflake to the point where he... Not your... It is mad that people give to... Our house, no Snowflake emoji I swear I... 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 I, I, I swear I... Guys, guys... Guys, guys... I swear down my dog's life. He took fucking cocaine in my... Oh, really, Rachel? But both of us, both of us did. Both of us did. Both of us did. Shut up. You're, no, you're no, no. Both of us did. Both of us oh. did. Both of us did. Thank you very much. Send me fucking tools, man. Come. I'm not, no, uh, I'm not a fucking liar. I'm yeah, not a fucking liar. It doesn't matter, does it? Fucking man. Talk to Frank or something. You have to be a liar. You fucking took it and so did I. You are a liar. No, I'm not. You told everyone I told you to fuck off. I swear day. down on my dog's life, you took fuck. On your dog's life. Fucking snowflake emoji, fucking hell. It was fucking shit. I didn't want nothing. Fuck no. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> is she alright? No, I didn't. She just wake up whoever the fuck. <laughs> he kept on taking it. No, it's your accent. Well, that was the final video for tonight's reactions, and what a fucking video to end on. Um, thank you guys for hanging with us tonight, and whoever is rewatching this, thank you very much for that. Um, what a crazy night as usual reactions all over the place videos from all over keep tagging we'll definitely be back live next saturday reacting to your videos um am i gonna maybe fuck around on tiktok and see who's live and jump in boxes and stir shit who knows we'll never know will we maybe i don't know possibly Anyway, thank you guys for all the support. People who've joined Team Facts tonight, people who've sent super chats, you guys are massively appreciated. Um, I'm gonna fucking fuck off. Fucking hell. Tag me in it, Art Jen. Tag me in it for next week. Right. I'll catch you later, guys.